Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Bargain Bin, a show about speed running games all under $20. I'm your host, Midnight Vesper, and if you've never been to The Bargain Bin before, here's how this works. For more current slash digital games, we'll be using digital stores like Steam, GOG, Itch.io, Ubisoft, etc. to look at the list slash MSRP price. For retro games, we're going to be using various price charting websites and looking for the loose price of those games. We do not count any sales or discounts as they vary from the time of purchase. Couple announcements real fast. If you enjoyed Frost Fatales, I know I did, March 26th, we're going to be having the Frame Fatales Game of the Month celebration here on the GDQ Hotfix. You can go to gamesdonequick.com slash frame fatales for more information about Frame Fatales. If you're watching this on YouTube, hello. You can just head on over to twitch.tv slash games done quick if you're interested in looking at our live content. It starts most weeknights at 7 p.m. Eastern and weekends around 1 p.m. Eastern. And of course, your subs, gift subs, prime gaming subs, and bits all help support our weekly hotfix content. Please consider supporting our weekly or our daily content if you enjoy these hotfix shows. If you have any ideas for your own show or one-off events, you can always go to gamesdonequick.com slash hotfix to submit your ideas. And you know, for today's show, it's been a while here at the Bargain Bin since we've actually got a chance to see our uh, lovely Cape Crusader Batman. So I figured, uh, you know, last time was around December 2020. It was a good idea to kind of head back to Gotham and see how things are going. For this one, I brought a little friend along, One-Eyed Deacon, again, just to see how things are going with Arkham Knight. Deacon, do you think the streets will be okay this time around? I think I think the streets will be perfectly good hands uh, with with uh, me and Batman. Yeah, awesome. Uh, thanks for having me. Um, yeah, and thanks for having me at the bargain bin. Uh, before we get started, I'm gonna probably do one of the most important things, which is to choose a Batman skin. Uh, I'll probably I'm gonna choose the uh, 1989 one because this is uh, the Batman I kind of grew up with, uh, and. I guess we can get started. Um, this is, uh, I'm gonna click new story. This is not when the timer starts. I'll let you know uh, when the timer does start. As kind of a preface for this game, uh, this is the third game in the Batman Arkham trilogy, fourth in the uh, Arkham anthology. There is a prequel game that came out. Uh, in the previous game in the series, which is Arkham City, there is a supervillain named the Joker who um, has this blood illness and uh, what he does is he tries to inspire Batman or incentivize Batman to save him by taking his blood and then injecting it into Batman. Uh, he also, for good measure, also sends his blood to hospitals around the city just in case that doesn't work. Uh, unfortunately, this strategy doesn't actually pay off for him. He does succumb to his illness and passes away. So um, the first thing we're going to do in this game is uh, cremate his body. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to um, just double check that I'm playing on easy. Um, this is going to be on easy. Uh, it is the fastest difficulty, um, a little more marathon safe. Uh, and so the timing will start once I start burning the body. So I will count down three, two, one, go. And when I say go, uh, we can start the timer. So three, two, one, go. And after we burn the body, uh, we will get an epic narration by Commissioner Gordon, which spoils the entire game for us. This is how it happened. This is how the Batman died. All right, so yeah. Uh, so now in this cutscene that we skip, uh, Commissioner Gordon will do some more narration. Uh, he basically tells us that he expected there to be a power vacuum and uh, some kind of war. No um, that never happened after Joker oh, died, thanks, So, um, but he knew something bad was coming. So, uh, in the meantime, though, uh, everything's fine. Right now we're playing the role of this police officer. We're at uh, Polly's Diner. Uh, there's this nice waitress here named Sharon who's taking our order. There are a lot of Easter eggs in this diner. There's like some airship, a poster of some airships over there. There's stuff on this TV. Goliath's still at large. These might be relevant later. Um, there's uh, Christina Bell. That might be important later. 
So we're just sitting here, and then this uh, there's this Karen here who basically comes to us, complains about some guy in the corner who's smoking. Uh, we're a cop, I guess. This is what we do now. We're going to uh, confront smoking customers. Excuse me, sir. There's no smoking in here. Yeah, so I guess this guy didn't like being told to stop smoking. And so now we see uh, that guy looked a little funny, and now we see that the rest of the diner has turned into monsters that are attacking each other. So this is a little bit concerning. Uh, fortunately, we are a police officer and we are armed, so when this guy comes and attacks us, we'll be able to defend ourselves appropriately. Um, the fastest thing to do is to shoot this guy. You actually don't have to shoot this guy. Um, it changes some NPC dialogue down the line, but doesn't really affect the speed run. So you, we just do whatever's fastest. Um, yeah, and so basically what happened here is um, there's another supervillain named Scarecrow, and what he did is he, he likes to release fear toxin in a bunch of places and cause people to get to freak out. Um, and what he did is he released a small sample in the diner as a demonstration the and then gave, the basically gave the, the everybody chaos. 24 hours to evacuate the city or he's going to release it uh, throughout the entire city. Um, so people evacuate. Criminals. The only people left are these supervillains like Two-Face and Penguin here, and as well as some rioters who are just having some fun in this empty stop. city. And then uh, obviously the police officers and Batman. And what we're going to be spending basically the rest of the run doing is trying to stop Scarecrow from releasing the fear toxin and we're gonna beat Batman so uh, as we do that. So I'm gonna now do the next most it important thing in this run which is to enable big head mode. So if you recall like everybody looked kind of normal with normal sized heads um, but you can enable something called big head mode which uh, basically makes everybody's head and hands very large um, and I enabled it just now and now you can see Batman's head and hands are going to be gigantic. Um, I'll keep this on for most of the run. Uh, there are parts where I will want to turn it off. Um, we'll kind of get there when we get there, but people find this hilarious, so it, it's always like a big talking it's, point when people start watching. They're like Funko Pops now. Yeah, Funko Pops and Bobbleheads, that's like a... That's a... So we see a bat signal over in the distance. Uh, this is in GCPD. Um, we like to fly to bat signals. It's a pretty key hobby of Batman, so we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, this is Commissioner Gordon. He's going to tell us that there's a militia vehicle they're tracking. And then we talked to Barbara Gordon. Uh, this is Commissioner Gordon's daughter. Uh, she works for us. She used to be Batgirl, but now she's paralyzed in a wheelchair. Um, Commissioner Gordon also does not know she works for us. Uh, and Barbara tells us about some police officer who's in a bit of trouble, so we'll uh, go ahead and rescue him. Now, is big head mode something that was actually beneficial to the run, or are you just doing it because it's big head mode? It's just because it's big head mode. Okay. All the... <laughs> it's actually, like, there are parts... It, it, you, it, it's mostly cosmetic, but there are parts where it actually hurts you in the run. Uh, we'll see those. Um, so anyways, we rescue the cop. Uh, there's the We then encounter the militia vehicle who tries to run us over. Uh, we escape and we have our own Batmobile so we can actually chase this guy. Um, there's also a cop that's chasing this guy, but this cop is unfortunately going to get blown up. Uh, so F's for that cop. The easiest way to deal with this vehicle is to cut him off over here and hit him. I've been missing this a lot recently, um, but we got it this time. Uh, otherwise, it's if you lose like, you can lose up to like a minute trying to destroy this guy normally. So now we'll uh, interrogate this guy. That just that just looks so weird. Yeah, it's <laughs> pretty funny. <laughs> Every bone in your body. Okay, okay. She's working out of a penthouse in Chinatown. I swear that's all I know. 
Yeah. So he tries to attack us with fear toxin. Uh, doesn't work. He t then tells us uh, as we torture him that uh, where we get our next lead on where Scarecrow is in the safe house. That's actually very nearby here. But uh, of course, Scarecrow's not actually there. We can't have the game be over so soon. So who, who's actually there is Poison Ivy. Whoops. And um, she's basically surrounded by a bunch of uh, militia people. So we will uh, fight them. I like the detail with the big head mode as well, because when you go into the x-ray vision, it keeps the big head mode on there as well. Yeah. And also, um, one funny thing is that, uh, well... Okay, so one funny thing is that if you, uh, go out of big head mode, like, while you're in detective vision, um... I think I think their head, their skulls stay big, even though their head go, gets smaller, something like that. Um, it's kind of funny. Uh, anyway, so um, Poison Ivy uh, basically tells us that like a bunch of super villains are working for Scarecrow, and we also find out she's immune to the fear toxin. Uh, as we exit, we're confronted by the militia and some tanks, but fortunately our Batmobile also turns into a tank, so we're going to be able to deal with these guys um, pretty effectively. Um, we're going to take Ivy to GCPD, because she is a supervillain after all. Uh, on the way, we're going to do a couple things. First, we're going to do these weapons diagnostics, uh, which we're actually going to just skip or abort because uh, you don't actually need to do them. You just need to start them. Uh, these are just uh, these are just basic. It's just basically a tutorial for how to use your tank. Um, and it gives you an upgrade point at the end, but it's way too slow to actually be worth it in any category. Um, then we're going to there's some more tanks here, so we're going to fight them. I did see in chat that someone had said Batman's not letting the vigilante scene get over his head. <laughs> and then I saw someone else compare this to a dark helmet. <laughs> Yeah, Batman doesn't kill. Yeah, th these tanks are unmanned, so uh, Batman's not killing anybody. Um, and then what, sometimes you'll see us like drive our Batmobile into people. They also don't die. They just get electrocuted and fly backwards a million feet. They survive that. So, uh, so Batman doesn't kill. He doesn't kill anybody in this game. Thing. Yeah, so we're gonna take Ivy, we're gonna lock her in this isolation chamber so that uh, she can't control any plants. Oh, that's Ivy's, oh Ivy. Ivy's spiel. Uh, and then we're gonna go get the most important gadget in the game. It's in this evidence room. This is the remote electrical charge gun. Uh, the reason why this gadget is so important is that um, when you aim and fire it, the animation is a little bit sluggish. What that lets us do is that's going to let us interrupt it with a with a quick fire battering, and this is going to let us uh, do something called zips, which is uh, where you basically teleport across the map um, based on where you last reloaded from checkpoint. So we'll see a lot of examples of this throughout the run. The first example is not going to be for like another half hour or so, but um, it's very important to get this gadget now so that we can do that. Um, it's going to save us a ton of time off of the glitchless run. Uh, so here, um, with the fire crew we're learning the about all the side no missions in the game, which we're, of which we're going to do zero of them because uh, this is we're only we only do the main story here. But uh, you can watch some hundred percent runs to see us do these side missions. Well, there's like a serial killer. There's Riddler. There's some missing firefighters. Also, we've had several sightings of the Riddler creeping around. Oh yeah, Cash and Gordon are explaining this to us. We do have to select no a side mission, though, in this next part, so I, I just Look, select whichever one my cursor is closest to, to which is, is usually the lives. firefighter one. Don't worry, Jim. I have someone working a lead on Scarecrow. I'll see what I can do. 
I see chat saying that it now looks like Bitmojis and Lego Batman. Yeah, it's uh, that's a going this. Oh, one funny thing you can do is this is the guy that we interrogated first. You can like hit his head on the bars here. Um, just while he's taunting you. Um, it's just a funny thing you can do. Um, so we're gonna head on over to the clock tower because we gave we basically Oracle is in the clock tower. We gave her a sample of fear toxin, so she's analyzing it. Um, here we're talking also with some guy named Lucius Fox. He's the CEO of Wayne Enterprises. Um, he's basically in, also in charge of all of our gadgets. So he just enabled something called the Afterburner on our Batmobile, which is going to make us drive faster. Um, very nice. I'll head to the clock tower right here. And um, so we'll interact with this um, and basically what Oracle has done is she's uh, basically isolated the core chemicals comprising the fear toxin so what we're gonna have to do is find out where those chemicals are coming from uh, the way we're going to do that is by hacking a couple of antennas uh, the first antenna is at Vanessa Studios which is right in front of us also, Easter egg, you can see Manbat right there, um, if, uh, if you were able to see it. Um, but we're not going to do Manbat, it's a side mission. Yeah, so the first antenna is at uh, Panessa Studios, but we're not going to actually be able to... Um, we're not going to actually be able to use it because we're not able to supply power to it yet. Uh, but maybe uh, Lucius Fox can give us something that'll help us. That seems like something Lucius could do. Yeah. The generator's damaged. I need to bypass it and power the antenna directly. Hello again, Mr. Wayne. It's it. Oops. Um, so what he's going to give us is he's going to give us something called the Power Winch, which is, which is a Batmobile accessory. Um, what it, It's going to let us do a bunch of things. We're going to actually see everything that it lets us do in this... Uh, in this basically, it's a tutorial where we try to get to the uh, place where we power the antenna. So the first thing it can do is it can pull down objects like this Herber Rail Station sign. Uh, you can also make makeshift ramps with it. Like that. You want to be very careful not to fall off here. You lose a lot of time if you do. Uh, the other thing, so the next thing you can do is you can also pull yourself up buildings. This is quite the car. Yeah, it's a... Uh, got a lot of functionality to it. Uh, Batman spent a lot of money on this. And you can finally use it to supply electricity to things like this antenna here. Um, we're going to do this. I think only we're only, I don't think we're ever going to do any of these things again, except pull up one more ramp um, in 100 percent that you would do all of these a lot. So um, and in glitchless, you would do it a bit more. But in this category, we kind of don't use these functionalities very much. So now we'll head over to the second antenna, which is at the Falcone shipping yard. Uh, there's a uh, police officer who's held hostage here, so we have to rescue him. Uh, I'm doing this little grapple thing, because this overlaps some dialogue that you're not supposed to overlap, which saves a bit of time. They'll kill scarecrows guarding the antenna. If I can separate them, they'll be easier. Five soldiers, all armed. If I alert them, they'll kill the hostage. The hostage? Hey, you hear that? Someone's out there. Um, this is the introduction to our first predator. Um, basically, when guys have guns, you're supposed to kind of sneak around. Um, on easy, you actually we end up generally not sneaking around, but um, that's a different story. One thing you can do is silent takedowns, but um, silent takedowns are usually very slow, but they uh, let you. Um, they, they prevent enemies from, like, being alerted, so they're useful. Uh, like, 
in Predators generally. But what we can do is actually cancel silent takedowns, which basically lets us silent take, silent take down people instantly. Um, it's very funny. It looks like Batman like taps people on the shoulder and then they fall down. Uh, we're going to be doing that a lot here. Uh, now we got a new bat suit. This is going to let us do this cool thing called a fear takedown. Um, which lets us take guys down very quickly, um, it, or a group of guys down very quickly. Uh, this is the tutorial for that. Um, we'll rescue the cop, hack the generator, and then we will use these two antennas that we just hacked in order to find out where the chemicals are coming from that comprise the fear toxin. Uh, I don't know where we could find where those chemicals are coming from, but if we're gonna get a bird's eye view of this city on the right side of the map, there's something called Ace Chemicals. Maybe the chemicals are coming from there. Frequencies at the same location. Could be. know where Scarecrow is manufacturing his toxin. We'll try it. Radio and oh, what do you know? Ace chemicals. That's where the, the chemicals That's are coming from. Ace Chemicals. That's uh, quite the twist. Hmm. Jim, I traced the um, yeah. So we're gonna head to Ace Chemicals. It's basically a so there are like three islands in this game. It's across uh, the island that we're currently on. So, and the general principle about this run actually is that driving is faster than gliding. So we're gonna drive to Ace Chemicals. So like a mistake that I see a lot of beginner runners do is they kind of glide everywhere, which is easier if you like don't know the roads, but um. So we'll head to Ace Chemicals. Uh, when we get there, we're going to meet up with Commissioner Gordon, and we're going to be introduced to the Arkham Knight. Uh, the Arkham Knight is some guy who's working with Scarecrow trying to kill us, although Scarecrow isn't letting him kill us right now, um, for whatever reason. But anyway, so what we're supposed to do here is we're supposed to hey, grapple to the top of Ace Chemicals Nothing. and you kind of learn about the Arkham Knights. There, we get a cutscene with the about the Arkham Knights uh, militia, which he has like a big army uh, that's basically atta he's attacking Gotham with. Um, but what we're gonna do is that's kind of slow. So first, I'll get a, I'll get an upgrade, which is Critical Strikes, um, which is a very important upgrade. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're also going to glide over this cutscene trigger because that's fast. <laughs> um, and when we glide over, when we get into Ace Chemicals, what we were, so what we need to do is there are some Ace Chemicals workers that are in a bit of trouble, so we're going to try to rescue them. So the first one is over here. I just want to say with big head mode, it makes Commissioner Gordon just look really sad the whole time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so unfortunately this worker is dead. Um, we're not happy about that. We're going to vent our frustrations on these tanks at the entrance. Um, this is the one time where we pull up another ramp. So uh, I think this is the last time we ever used the power winch, if I recall correctly, in this run. So it wasn't Batman that, you know, unfortunately, that was that was someone else, right? We, yeah, someone. Batman. Yeah, the, the militia killed that worker. Um, there are five workers. Um, we're going to go try to rescue the second one. The second one is fortunately alive. Um, so uh, we'll, uh, we'll rescue him. Also, um, that, the tank shoots non-lethal rounds at these people, so if you're seeing me shoot people, it's they're not dying. Uh, so as we rescue this worker, we're going to actually see the Arkham Knight face to face. Um, the Arkham Knight has a lot to say in this cutscene, but we don't really care what he has to say. So what we're going to do is just uh, remote control our Batmobile and shoot at these guys. Keep your gun. If you don't shoot, like, Arkham Knight has, like, a big dialogue that he'll do. Um, yeah, the Arkham Knight's a dirty little coward, so he just runs away. Uh, but these other guys are a little braver, so we'll, uh, reward their bravery with some non-lethal rounds to the face. And we'll rescue this worker. Tell me what you know. They've been running the plant for hours. Um, so... We're going to now try to rescue the other three workers. Um, two of them are actually dead. Uh, so what we're going to do is skip 
onto the third worker. Um, the way that we are going to do that is um, we're going to grapple out of here. Um, and then we will grapple onto this pipe here. And then we're going to dive into over here. And then there's this wall that has no collision. So this is going to let us uh, glide out of bounds to this elevator in front of us. Um, and so when we get in the elevator, it's going to load in this basement, uh, which is where this last worker is. Um, it's kind of funny. You like go in here, and then you turn around, and then this area is loaded in. That's one heck of a detour. Yeah. Um, so this is a pretty big skip. Um, so there's this. So now we have the worker here who's being bullied by these uh, militia people. We don't really like bullies, so we'll uh, we'll fight them. It makes the alert, the big head makes when, when they get alerted, it makes it look like they have a mohawk. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to rescue this worker, um, and uh, we're going to head into the elevator. And the problem is that we can't actually take the elevator up because we're supposed to use our Batmobile to do it. Uh, but there was a lot of setup that we were supposed to do in order to actually use our Batmobile to pull the elevator up, which we skipped. But if we just remote control our Batmobile and um, just have the have the Batmobile go out here, the for whatever reason the game thinks right now that both workers are actually in the car, so we're able to rescue both workers, um, just like this. These two were lucky. Uh, now Batman is not in the car, so what we're gonna do is reload from checkpoint to get him in the car. Uh, but we can now uh, continue on with the next part of Ace Chemicals, which is to confront Scarecrow, because we found Scarecrow is in uh, basically the middle of the factory. Um, again, we're going to glitch our way over there. Uh, oh, it doesn't change it in the cutscenes, or the loading screens. <laughs> yeah, the... So we'll uh, do the same thing. We'll go out of bounds. This time we're going to go up here. Um, do this line launcher tightrope. Um, and then we're gonna try to load in um, this area by looking this looking in this direction. The ceiling is gonna unload. We want to grapple it before it unloads, uh, and then do a glide over to here. And this is where um, basically we'll load in this predator where Scarecrow is. Uh, here we'll do like a canceled silent takedown. Um, here you back all these guys. This Predator, you kind of do the same on all difficulties. Usually on hard, um, you'd want to be, like, pretty careful in Predators, but in terms of speed, like, doing this Predator this way on both easy and hard is basically equivalent. Oh, this is, a uh, interesting. Um, this guy. But yeah, on easy though, you're you're basically bulletproof. Oh, whoops. I need to stop the chemicals. Um, so you don't need to be careful at all. Um, and there are some places where where you can like back claw people off of the edge of things, which also doesn't kill them, but uh, probably hurts them a lot. Anyway, so now here, Scarecrow is in here. Um, we actually have him, we could have apprehended him, but he basically tells us that Barbara has been kidnapped. And then we get a little bit distracted trying to re trying to make sure Barbara ha isn't getting kidnapped. And Scarecrow actually escapes out the door and locks us in here. So that's our bad. That was a bit careless of us. Um, and now we're locked in this chemicals factory that's about to explode and release fear toxin. Uh, throughout the city, so we're going to have to use these neutralizing agents in order to, in order to uh, stop the gas from getting released. Uh, you can can't do a do an animation cancel where you don't actually pull out the canister, and then you're basically using invisible canisters to, or to neutralize the gas, which is very funny and also much faster than 
then that um yeah you 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 do uh you do um animation cancels with like uh some like like alt fire interact at the same time and then hold aim yeah but it's uh it's very funny um, Batman's just working on uh, their acting skills. Yeah, miming. <laughs> yeah, that's his miming. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Sir, listen to me. Don't you... Neutralizing agents of boring. Last rating is reduced by 50%. I'm monitoring that facility. You're out of time. Um, this, this is the third canister. There's a fourth canister, um, which we can't cancel um, for reasons oh if you push it in too quickly like i just did uh the canister will then appear um out of thin air so he does magic too um <laughs> yeah but, but you'll see here what the animation that we're actually skipping is um it's basically this uh basically you have to like manually pull this thing out otherwise um and then when we pull it out we're gonna actually we're gonna be confronted by joker who then shoots us in the head which is interesting because oh I swear, Joker. I swear we burned his body in the beginning of the game. Uh, maybe this flashback sequence will uh, explain some of this to us. Um, so in this flashback sequence, we have been dropped off at uh, Panessa Studios by helicopter, and we're playing the role of Commissioner Gordon. Uh, we don't really know why we're here or what we're doing, but there is a VIP elevator here, and we are the commissioner. We're pretty important. Great. How the hell am I supposed Still to get head there? Voice pattern analyzed. And we also have yeah, we also have voice power. We have voice access. Unbelievable. It, it is unbelievable. Um, yeah. So if you recall, I uh, mentioned at the beginning of the game that Joker had sent his his poison blood to hospitals around the city uh, in the previous game, which is Arkham City. And after the events of Arkham City, Gordon and Batman tried to round up all of those uh, blood packets to pre prevent them from going into other people through blood transfusions. Um, it didn't work, or it, they, they missed some. And basically what Batman has done is he's gone around and kidnapped all of the people who've been infected with Joker blood uh, and locked them into these isolation chambers. Um, what the hell is so this what we're doing as Gordon is we're gonna kind of learn all of that. So we're gonna undim all of these uh, cells. And so there are four people here. Uh, the one in front of us is Henry Adams, who looks pretty normal, aside from his big head. But then uh, you see here there's Christina Bell, Johnny Charisma, and Albert King. All of these three are turning into Joker. So what Batman is trying to do is he's trying to use Henry Adams to come up with a cure for this uh, Joker talk, this Joker it. syndrome. You need to see this. Was the was the one in the middle, uh, Jared Leto? No, it's uh, not not place? Jared Leto. It's um, one of these people. Uh, someone else. Uh, but that's <laughs> this was before that movie came out, I think. So, uh, but anyway, so then what Gordon observes is there's a fifth cell that has nobody in it, and basically Batman, what that cell is for is that's for Batman, because Batman was also infected with Joker blood, and so there is the possibility Batman might turn into the Joker, and so what we're seeing is here is that Batman got exposed to some fear toxin. Every time he gets exposed to fear toxin, he's gonna start turning more and more into Joker. Um, so that's why we're starting to see Joker. Basically, this is a hallucination on Batman's part. Um, Joker makes the astute observation that this factory is about to explode, so we should probably leave. Um, there are some guys there uh, that are totally not going to die uh, in this exploding factory. The, the, those guys shouldn't be there, but we skipped the part where we actually would like knock them out. Um, so even though this factory is exploding, obviously nobody dies in, in that <laughs> in this explosion. Um, but yeah, so um, we escaped Ace Chemicals. We stopped the fear toxin from being released. But Barbara is still kidnapped. Um, we need to we need to uh, find her. And also we need to tell Commissioner Gordon that his daughter's kidnapped, which is not going to be fun. And we're also debating whether or not to tell uh, to tell him that she works for us. Oops. So that's a, that's an internal conflict that we have. Um, what we'll do though is um, we're gonna glide just because there are a bunch of tanks that we would get into fights with if we were to drive. On the way, there's also a predator at the clock tower, um, which we would 
which we don't we were actually not supposed to do now um, we're not intended to do it now but it's faster to do it now since we're gliding here anyway um, so we'll take this guy out and then you can kind of see in, on easy what you kind of do is you just jump and like punch people while they're shooting at you it's kind of like in the batman movie where you're uh bulletproof but you know they're non-lethal punches yeah non-lethal punches yeah so what we're gonna do now is get something called storage which is basically you aim and fire your rep gun and then quick fire a batarang uh, on keyboard basically that that's what that's gonna do is um if you get on a gargoyle and do and do that and then you try to fire your ret gun again it's gonna teleport us uh to a specific point on the map based on where we last reloaded from checkpoint and we last reloaded from checkpoints in the overworld so it's gonna it's gonna teleport us to a very specific part of the overworld uh, we'll see that uh in about like five minutes or something um so anyways here we told gordon that barbara's been kidnapped so he's not pleased where he we're gonna go look for evidence at the clock tower um no way you On the way, we're going to be accosted by some militia vehicles, so we'll we'll uh, we'll have to deal with them. Yeah, and we can shoot missiles at. We can like we can like cause these car accidents. These guys are not going to die. These, these are non-lethal car accidents. Oh, you can, and then we also have something called the Immobilizer, which is basically a missile that we can shoot at these guys as well. It's too dangerous, Jim. Get in the Batmobile. I'll take us to the clock tower. Um, but yeah, so we're, we're going to um, have uh, Gordon go into the Batmobile so we can take him to the clock tower. It's very funny in Bakehead mode because Gordon's head like sticks out of the Batmobile. Just get us there in one piece, Batman. We're running out of time. Yeah, and so here, um, so there are three islands in this, um, in this game. There's, Mi there's uh, Bleak Island, Founders Island, Miyagani Island. Here, Alfred's gonna tell us basically how many tanks there are on each island, but we don't really care what Alfred has to say. He's never helped us ever in our lives, so we'll just skip his dialogue. The remaining drone. Um, and then we'll head to the clock tower. To the <laughs> Yeah. Thanks. Oh, sorry. Present the I'm top of the head now. of uh, Commissioner Gordon. Just you know, just there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's very funny with big head mode. Um, yeah. So now we're gonna do this tank. There's some tanks in front of the clock tower. Um, we'll, we'll just uh, deal with them. Oops. And now we'll head into the clock tower to uh, look at evidence. So when we get to the clock tower, we're going to be treated with a flashback sequence. Jim, the area is secure. Uh, so here you can see Barbara. This is Barbara, um, which you, we actually haven't seen Barbara this game because we skipped all of the cutscenes with her in it. Uh, but basically you can see that she can walk, but then she foolishly doesn't look through her people before opening the door. So she now gets shot in the back, uh, which paralyzes her. Um, that's why she's in a wheelchair. Out just yet. Come on, show a little spy. Yeah. So uh, Joker makes a very tasteless joke. I don't really think it's as funny as he thinks it is. Is is the Joker wearing a uh, Ash's hat from the Pokemon series? <laughs> no, he's he's wearing a fla hat that says Flashback. <laughs> Oh yeah. Um. But yeah, you can you can uh you might have just written that onto the Pokemon hat. You can I think that's a that's a reasonable headcanon. 
I think, yeah, I think so. <laughs> All right, so um, so now um, basically what's happening, so what happens next is um, Gordon's going to come up. We're going to tell him Barbara works for us. He's going to punch us in the face and look for Barbara himself. Then we're going to basically try tracking Oracle. We're going to track her to Miyagani Island. Meet. We're going to get encounter Riddler. We're going to go through these tunnels, meet, uh, interrogate some driver, fight some people. Um, then we will we hear about someone called the Penguin who's like supplying arms. We'll think we'll uh, rendezvous with Nightwing about Penguin, uh, and then we then we would track some car to Penguin's hideout. So what we're gonna do is skip all of what I just said um, and go to Penguin's hideout directly. Um, this is a gigantic skip. Uh, what we do is we zip out of the clock tower like that. So this is where the teleporting I was uh, talking about. And then we can glide over to Penguin's hideout, uh, which is um, on Miyagani Island. Uh, uh, we'll head on over there. Also, props to Batman for being able to climb through nothing. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, we're going to see a lot of, uh, interesting things Batman can do in this in this run uh, that I didn't see him do in the in like the movies um, but yeah this this is a this skips I think it skips like 25 minutes off of the glitchless run this skip alone um, it's kind of a huge skip so there's this door here uh, this door is supposed to open uh, when we when we like actually we're, when we we're start tracking the penguin truck, but we can like glitch through the door and then go into penguin. Um, so this is a uh, penguin skip. This is gonna be great. And we can now interrogate him to see if he knows where Barbara is. Barbara Gordon, tell me where they are. So that's who we had. The commissioner's little girl. Like the guy in the background with the the beard, just you know. Break yeah. every bone in your body, <laughs> Cobblepot. Hey, we're going to see some keys are called Simon Stag. I think he runs a, a pharmaceutical company. Yeah, so he's going to tell us like uh, that. Basically, the our next lead is someone called uh, called Simon Stag, uh, who has these airships. Which we actually saw posters of those airships at the beginning of the game. Uh, if you, I don't know if you remember, but I think I pointed them. I did point them out. Um, so now here we're going to get. It'll be in a little bit of a pickle. We're kind of not in a great spot. Um, but if you recall that what was supposed to happen is we were supposed to rendezvous with Nightwing, who then tells us about how to track Penguin. And we then tell Nightwing to screw off, but he doesn't. He comes in and rescues us. So Batman will never thank Nightwing ever because he's Batman, but I'm, I'm thankful on behalf of Batman. <laughs> Oops. Again with the non-lethal punching and yeah. Um, God is enjoying the fact that Nightwing is here. Bruce, you need to let me help. All right, so Penguin has these weapons caches. We're gonna actually destroy them. This is, um, and, and what we can do is we can actually cancel the actual closing of this door. It saves a ton of time uh, if you get it. And we fa finally got it consistent. Um, so now as we exit, we actually can't exit right now. Right? Um, so what we're gonna do is cancel this door. What that is is um, when you you can open doors without going through them, and it'll basically unload the where you currently are, and then load in the outside. Um, so we're doing that here. One because it's faster, and two because the door that we glitched through is still actually closed. We can't like get out of it normally. And so now we have to deal with these guys who are trying to ambush us. We're supposed to deal with them with our Batmobile. Uh, but um, this is faster. Um, it's kind of funny, like when you when you start taking these guys out, they're gonna they sometimes say like he's in his car. And even though we're just even though we're not he, he, we're, even though I'm not in my car, so um, anyways, we'll destroy this.
And now we'll uh, head on over to the airships, which are in the distance over there. You can kind of see them. Sir, that, that incredible tight zoom in on Batman's face just right there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in big head mode. All right, so... Um, so yeah, so we're heading to Stag's, Stag's airships. They're tied to this watchtower. Um, there's actually like an entire like side mission where you destroy like a bunch of watchtowers. Uh, this is kind of the tutorial one. Alright, so, um, so this is the predator here for the, this watchtower. Um, or again, we're gonna utilize our silent takedown cancels to great extent, uh, to save some time. And also not have these guys see us. And we'll, uh... Okay, so now that we uh, have disabled this watchtower, we can now go onto Stag's airship. Uh, unfortunately, Stag's airship is password protected, but Lucius does have something that will let us uh, hack password protected things called the remote hacking device. And it happens to be in this building that's right next to us. That's uh, very convenient. Even Lucius is like, maybe you should add clairvoyance to your job requirements because it's in the <laughs> building right next to you. you saw the protected numbers. Well, we already got magic. We already got, what, walking on air. Yeah. Climbing air, I'm sorry. Climbing uh. air. <laughs> yeah, so what we're going to try to do is here we're supposed to um, go through this airship. So there are two airships. There's airship one and two. Uh, we're going to airship one. And what we're supposed to do is we go through airship one. We'll meet up with Simon Stagg, but then Simon Stagg then gets kidnapped by the militia and taken to Airship 2, and then we need to find our way through Airship 2, all the, to Airship 2. Uh, we do a predator, we do some fights, we look at some handprints. Um, so what we're gonna do though is skip that. We're gonna skip over to Airship 2 um, and save maybe like four or five minutes. Um, first we're doing this all kind of normally. Soldiers are using an unmanned drone. If I can down, I've got the code. Now I can turn that. All right, so them. we will uh, hack this. Um, and so you, we're able to like tilt this airship. Um, so we, you you like hack these things in order to tilt the airship. Oops. Not yet. Uh, but the Arkham Knight and Scarecrow's forces have moved through this place. And um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna. Uh, unlock a floor hatch and then what we're gonna do with this floor hatch after we go in here is we're gonna reload from checkpoint so if you recall i mentioned that uh when we zip we're gonna zip to relative to where we last reloaded from checkpoint and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a zip uh in a couple of in like a minute um in order to skip on over to airship two um we're not going to do that yet. First, what we're going to do is trigger a very specific autosave because the airships aren't actually like in the correct position until you get to a specific point in the story, uh, which is when we get this autosave coming up right here. And then once we get it, what we are now gonna do is leave the airship, uh, ironically, because um, we don't, because uh, we're gonna now do a zip. Uh, before we can do a zip, we need to, um, get storage uh you need to get storage by going onto a gargoyle so that we can do our thing with the wreck gun and the quick fire battering so the nearest gargoyle unfortunately is over here um, which is pretty far um now unfortunately we are gonna glide over here just because when we do our zip we gonna we need some very specific loading behavior to happen which doesn't happen unless you zip from like around this location uh, but now we'll do our zip and then when we we're now right now we're behind airship 2 so when we glide over to this part of airship 2 it's gonna load in and wait. Now, um, now we're at, we're basically in airship two. We're in like the ceiling 
But if we if we go over here, um, we can kind of like walk down through the ceiling. And now we basically have skipped all the way to the end of Airship 2. So now we're going to um, confront Stag, who's in this Predator. By the way, Stag's been doing human experimentation with the fear toxin, so he's a very bad dude. You guys also don't know who Stag is because we haven't actually seen him yet. But um, Yeah, so Stag is in here. He's uh, getting going to get locked in by these militia guys. In fact, I don't think we, we're going to ever actually see Stag in this run because we're going to skip all of his cutscenes. Anyway, so we'll do this Predator. Um, this Predator on easy, he kind of just... Do. Um, one thing though is we do have a one-hit KO um, that uh, that gets triggered, which is kind of interesting because um, it, yeah, it makes it makes things very fast. And the idea behind this predator is we want to we want to lure this mini gunner to this uh, generator over here. Um, It's a non-lethal, non-lethal generator, or generator. Right? Yeah, and blow him up because otherwise it's really slow to take out the mini gunner. Okay, and so that's the predator. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get storage because we're gonna do a zip in 15 minutes, um, and this is the fastest place to get storage to set that up. Um, and so now we're going to confront Scarecrow. There are two choices because we're hallucinating. Um, hopefully we can pick the right one. If we pick the right one, we can get the good ending and shave two hours off of the any percent run and I can get my free world record that I've been gunning for for a while. Um, we'll pick the right one. No, that was incorrect. So yeah, unfortunately this adds another two hours to the run. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, it's just something we always joke about, <laughs> triggering the good ending. Yeah, so we get gassed again, and as usual, whenever we get gassed, uh, we start turning more and more into Joker. Um, so this is gonna happen uh, after this monologue. Betrayed by those who trust oh, and one characteristic about uh, Batman turning into Joker is that his eyes turn green, uh, which we should see uh, in this cutscene. Sometimes, like, the camera pans up uh, in glitchless in 100%, which is kind of frustrating to me because it's, like, really cool. It's, like, really cool to see his eye turn green in this part. But in any percent, it seems to always work. No more hope. No more Batman. Maybe it's already. Someone in chat said, don't worry, Chad, it's two non lethal hours extra. <laughs> Look at me! I'm amazing! And this body! I can't believe how strong it is! Oh, oh God, he's gonna kill us! <laughs> I like all the jokers in the background. Yeah. <laughs> just cheering you on the whole time. Yeah, and so, um, yeah, it's funny. And then um, the other thing is that uh, the look at me, I'm amazing is like my favorite line in the, in the game. Um, it is a good line, yeah. Yeah, so here, um, this part's very funny in big head mode. It's it's very intimate with the, with the Jokers and Batman. <laughs> so intimate that their heads go into Batman's head. <laughs> you need to do something. You need to stop it. Oh my god. <laughs> good. 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 They're just merging into <laughs> Batman over here. Yeah, in, in essence, like thematically, it's like it makes even more sense than not having a Bighead mode on, you know? I think Bighead mode is actually canon. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> you that. one could say. You're different. <laughs> I prefer to call it a work in progress, but it does show potential. You're trapped. There's nowhere to Someone run. Someone in chat said, don't worry, Joker doesn't kill. Yeah. 
All right, so here, uh, Scarecrow claims he's not running away, but this this looks like running away to me. Um, and then uh, Arkham Knight tries to shoot a rocket launcher at us, but we dodge it because we're Batman, um, obviously. <laughs> um, then what happens is uh, Scarecrow's going to tell us that Barbara is in the same safe house where Poison Ivy was um, earlier in the game. So we're going to rush on over there to try to rescue Barbara. Hit the ground so hard that Alfred, his uh, head merged into the ground the there. In yeah. I'm heading there now. Please hurry. Whatever else happens tonight, guys, I want you to know this was the Okay, so when we get in here, um, so what happens is, uh, Barbara gets gassed, and then she starts freaking out, and then uh, while she's freaking out, she decides to shoot herself in the head. Um, so Barbara is 100% completely dead. There is no possible way she's alive, um, which is very sad. Batman is devastated, um, as you can see. Wait, 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 hold on. But it's 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 non-lethal, right? Non, it's a not. She non-lethally shot herself in the head. No, this is pretty lethal. Okay. Um, so yeah, but, but her head is so big. Yeah. But um, anyway, so Alfred's telling us about something called the cloud burst. So this is, it, it does, the cloud burst does what you would, what it sounds like it does. It creates a burst of clouds. So this is just another way of distributing fear toxin across the city. So the next batch of the run is to stop the cloud burst from releasing the gas. Um, and we, so basically we're going to have an epiphany that maybe, hey, Ivy's immune to the fear toxin. Let's, uh, let's talk with her. No more bad memories, no more pain, no more This wouldn't have happened if it was Adam West. There's an Adam West Batman skin uh, I could have used, um, and then it would happen with Adam West, so that's, that's un untrue. Let me know the instant you locate the cloud first. Of course, Sam. Where are you going? GCPD. Ivy was immune to Scarecrow's toxin. Alright, so we'll head on over to GCPD again to talk with Ivy. Um, yeah, I'm gonna drive there. I like to use first person mode. You can use first person mode with the Batmobile. It's actually very useful in my opinion. It, it makes some of the driving a lot easier. Oh, okay, I almost didn't make it. That would have been bad. Oh. <laughs> I mean, not that bad. It would have uh, lost like uh, like five seconds, which isn't a big deal. But um, yeah, so we'll head on over to uh, Ivy. Um, if you recall the guy at the beginning of the game, uh, we like hit his head on the bars. We can also do the same thing where we like intimidate him and then he hits his head on the toilet. But that's the last time we can interact with him, unfortunately. So, uh, that's very funny. So, what the hell happened on that airship? Aaron Cash is uh, still working diligently. Yeah, so we'll head on. We'll talk to Ivy. What Ivy's going to tell us basically is that she's able to synthesize spores that counteract the fear toxin, uh, and in order to create enough for the entire city, she's going to need some gigantic plants. Uh, the first of which is at the Botanical Gardens on Miyagani Island. Um, unfortunately, on the way there, we encounter this, what Aaron Cash calls one big mother of a tank. Uh, these are Cobra tanks. We're not able to actually shoot these guys normally. Um, we're going to have to uh, analyze these guys to see if there's a weakness. I will say out of, out of everything I've seen so far, uh, Ivy's big head, I think, is a nice highlight so far. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Ivy's, I, I really like Ivy's head, I like, uh, or, I like Oracle's head when, uh, in her, uh, death scene. That's, uh, those are my favorite ones. Alright, so basically what, what this is introducing us is Cobra tanks, they're, they're basically stealth tank fights. We have to sneak up behind them. Oops. And then, uh, then, um, 
lock onto them and then shoot them. Uh, that's, the, that's the way that we uh, have to deal with them. Cobra fights are pretty annoying. Uh, there's a lot of RNG involved with them. Um, you're going to see me hopefully not struggle too much with them, but it's very likely you will see me struggle with them. So here we're getting a Batmobile upgrade. We're actually not getting a Batmobile up. We're getting a fake upgrade, a fake sonar upgrade. Um, because we're like, we there's parts in the game where you actually select what upgrade you would get, um, but we skipped all of that uh, with all the skips that we did. Uh, so we didn't actually get a real upgrade, unfortunately. Um, and so now we're gonna head to Miyagani Island. We can't use the bridge that we would normally use in Glitchless because we skipped the part where we actually lower the bridge. Uh, we skipped a lot of stuff in this game. Um, but yeah, so, but we can still call our Batmobile here. I'm gonna get an upgrade, which is the Cobra Lure. Uh, this is very helpful for Cobra fights, usually, because uh, usually if you shoot like a wall, it'll make the Cobra point in that direction. Sometimes it doesn't work. Actually, very often it doesn't work, but um, when it works, it's very useful. Um, yeah, so here, if I shoot like over there, um, the Cobra gets uh, lured over there. So that's why it's called Cobra Lure. And then, um, uh, uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so now we're gonna take Ivy to this big tree in me in uh, Botanical Gardens. Um, but this isn't enough. She's gonna need more plants. Uh, unfortunately, the plants are buried very deep underground. In order to actually find them, we're gonna need to use an actual sonar. So we're gonna talk with Lucius, who's gonna give us a real sonar this time. Uh, at Wayne Tower. So Wayne Tower is over here. Um, we're going to drive there to the Wayne Tower parking garage. Um, for whatever reason, we're going to be met with a bunch of tanks at Wayne Tower. Um, so we're going to give them the standard Wayne Tower hospitality uh, that we've been giving them uh, throughout the run so far. Uh, open the parking lot entrance. I, I thought you were here already, Mr. Wayne. Must be a glitch in the system. I'll get that checked immediately. Mr. Green, the perimeter's been breached. We have some uninvited guests. Not for long. Wayne Tower! Yeah, so like I said, Wayne Tower hospitality. Well, I did ask a question in my mic. Which one? So and I, I, I was uh, uh, going to ask a question. So I know we, we established earlier in the game that everyone has left, except for Batman, Gotham City Police, and Commissioner Gordon and such. Um, has Bruce Wayne left as well? Because I don't know if Bruce would, would, would enjoy us just kind of coming here and destroying all of this. I think Bruce Wayne, uh, I think all things considered, he, no one knows where Bruce Wayne is. Um, but uh, all things considered, I think he'd be fine with, with this. If Lucius Fox is fine with it. He's a little more hands-off with his company, you know? Yeah. All right, so now we got our real sonar. Um, what we're going to do is uh, head on over and scan Ivy's plant. Basically, we're going to try to find a plant using the sonar. Um, we are going to do a very deep sonar scan to find the to find the plant. Uh, the place where we do it is right here in this alley. Um, and then once the plant gets released, it needs to, it needs a little bit of time to harden, but the militia is trying to shoot, shoot it down. So we'll just... Uh, So, 
we deal with the uh, we deal with the with the militia, and now we will. Um, so now we have all the we have all the plants. We probably have all the plants we need. So this is just a contingency in case the gas does get released. Um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to find the cloudburst using the batwing. Uh, we're gonna head to the Panessa Studios in order to. There's a computer there that we can use to like see what the batwing uh, has found. Um, but unfortunately, we can't actually use our batwing because uh, there's a missile launcher on Founders Island that uh, will shoot it down. So what we're gonna do is um, look, just look at our computer analysis to see if there's anything we could do. Um, and when we go to in the Panessa Studios, we're gonna find Robin is actually here, who is um, who's uh, he's trying to basically synthesize the Joker Syndrome cure. Uh, and he wants to help us, but obviously we don't need his help. We're Batman. We're too good for that. Um, now we're also going to get a very the, the second most important gadget in the game, which is the freeze grenade. Uh, this is going to let us do a bunch of glitches um, as well. So uh, very important gadget. Uh, so now. Um, what we're gonna find is there's this ra there's this uh, radar drone that we uh, can use, and what we're gonna do is instead of uh, going out of the Panessa Studios normally, we're gonna zip on out into the overworld. Uh, the overworld is completely unloaded, um, but when we actually get onto this radar drone, which is in front of us, uh, it'll actually load in the overworld because it's gonna kind of trigger the next. Uh, story objective, um, but this is kind of a pretty major skip in two ways. One, uh, obviously we skip the part where we actually exit Panessa, but the other thing is that um, the elevator that we took down is actually lowered and it never comes back up. So we're not going to actually be able to proceed on with the story normally when we go back to Panessa. Um, so we're going to have to do some cool things to get around that, which is actually which actually end up being faster um, than uh, doing things the intended way will allow me to temporarily blind but anyway so there's this relay chip this basically allows us to blind drones this might help us uh, destroy the missile launcher and so now what we're gonna try to do is destroy two radar towers um, one is right in front of us I need to destroy the radar before the drone comes back online um, so we just start with some explosive gel. Uh, and then there's a second radar drone that's uh, guarded by some guys who we have to fight. But we can actually skip that fight um, in a very funny way. So we'll see how we'll see we can we can see how the fight skip works. Um, basically, what we can do is we can if we go into detective vision. I also like to drop a smoke just to be a little safe. Oh, this is that's unfortunate. That happens sometimes. Um, but we can basically just phase through the floor um, and uh, and um, destroy this radar. Batman just aggressively just takes out the, the, that monitor and keyboard. And in order to get out, we have to like um, get into corner cover because this door is closed. But if we like grapple boost out after getting corner cover, we're actually able to get out. So that's uh, it's a very annoying thing to do, but um, it's fast. So now there's this missile launcher. We have to do a predator. Um, on easy, this predator is not really a not really big deal. Non-lethal takedown just there. Yeah, it doesn't even need to be said, right? Yeah, non-lethal, non-lethal takedowns, non-lethal punches, non-lethal brain damage. Sir, he's going for the defense shield. Um, yeah, so now we'll, uh, we, we can't actually destroy this missile launcher. Uh, we need our Batmobile to do it. Um, unfortunately, there are a bunch of Cobras in this area that we need to fight in order to use, in order to get, to get to the missile launcher. So we're going to fight them. Uh, this is a, an annoying Cobra fight. It's a lot of RNG, a lot of variance, and it's very frustrating when you try to go for a good time in it. Um, but... Sir, all three into 
Yeah, hopefully it's not too bad here. Oh, whoops. Uh, yeah, you don't want to get spotted because basically you're not able to actually shoot these guys if you if you do get spotted. So you you generally want to uh, generally want to um, avoid getting spotted uh, as much as possible. Uh, this is not. I want, really want to get behind this guy. There we go. Yeah, all these cobras are kind of clustered up, so this is this is not really ideal. <laughs> um, but uh, it's it's okay. We can we can manage. Hopefully. No. Okay, I managed to get away with that somehow. Uh, and the thing is, even on easy, you get two shotted by these cobras if you don't have body, if you don't have tank armor. Um, so it's a. Uh... So um, you still want to be pretty careful um, about not getting shot. Uh... Yeah, so the Cobra Lure really helps uh, control some of these RNG factors, so... Yeah, overall that Cobra fight could be a lot better, but like, you know, we got through it. Oh, nice job. Okay, so now we're gonna try to destroy the missile launcher, but the Arkham Knight sent a, a regiment of, of militia people. Um, to apprehend us, uh, we're going to. I mean, while he's here, I guess we might as well uh, talk to him, ask him, ask him a question or two. Uh, we're not worried about these militia people. We can deal with them. Oh, seriously, he heard you boys coming from a mile away. Those pointy ears aren't just for show, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna get an upgrade, which is the multi-ground takedown. This is a very important upgrade for going fast. Um, yeah, I'm asking a question. Who are you? Not yet, Dark Knight. Yeah, I guess he doesn't answer it, and then he runs away because he's again a dirty little coward. Uh, but that's okay. We'll uh, we'll reward these other guys' as bravery with some non-lethal. So that's the multi-ground takedown, which is basically um, when when you have uh, when you, if you knock all of the guys to the ground, guys to, if you knock people to the ground and then do a multi-ground takedown, uh, it'll basically knock all of those guys out. So it's a very nice way of um, clearing out large groups of guys very quickly um, if you uh, sort of utilize your batarangs correctly. Um, We'll use our Batmobile to take out this missile launcher. And yeah, that's uh missile launcher's taken care of. Now we can use our Batwing uh, in order to um, see if we can find the Cloudburst. So we're going to head to the Clock Tower while our Batwing is uh, circling, and maybe we can see, uh, see what its analysis is. I'm calling in the Batwing to start searching for the Cloudburst. Upload the results to the clock tower once it's complete. Maybe we'll get a break in this run okay, where, where you know, we just look at our computer, find the cloud burst, then, you know, take it out. That's, that's, that'll, that's what'll happen. Ooh, I don't know, crime scene investigating some of Riddler's OC delightful scavenger hunt, and I'll do some hit and runs in the Batmobile. I promise I'll hand control of your body right back when my turn's done. Yeah, so, by the way, uh, one thing is also Robin and Barbara are engaged. Uh, that's a picture of them together. Uh, and we haven't told Robin that Barbara is dead or kidnapped. Like, so, um, Alfred warned us that, like, that's not a good idea, but we, we don't really care. Alfred, pull up the footage from the Batwing's onboard scanner. Certainly, sir. 
As you can see, the Batwing has completed an orbital sweep of Founders Island, but there's still no sign of the cloudburst. I will, of course, let you know when the situation changes, but I... Oh, one moment, sir. I'm receiving an emergency broadcast from the movie studios. Batman, I hope you can hear this. The movie studios are under attack. Robin is in trouble. Listen to me very carefully. You need to lock down that room. We can't let the infected get out. Of course. Tell me what. Henry. That's enough. Uh-oh. So this is uh, Harley oh. Quinn. Uh, this is a... Uh, Joker's girlfriend back when Joker was alive. Um, Quinn. She has apparently taken over the movie studios, so we're gonna have to head over there and help Robin. Oh, and she's very excited because now she's gone from uh, zero Jokers to three. Don't do it. They're not stable. Part of me was like, you know, for the big head. Uh, the big head little trick we're doing here, I was expecting a little bit more Alfred, with Harley Quinn, but then I realized, oh no, it's not applied there. Yeah, same thing with Alfred, it's not applied, um, unfortunately. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't work, it, it doesn't show up in these like cuts, in those like, uh, those like video calls. Okay, so as I mentioned, like we're, we need to head to Panessa, but we can't actually do Panessa the normal way because the elevator is uh, not is like actually lowered, so we can't actually take the elevator down to the bottom of Panessa like we would normally want to. Um, so we're gonna have to do some shenanigans in order to get to the bottom. Uh, first thing we'll do the normal stuff, which is to do this fight. Uh, the best way of doing this fight is to lure these guys to this generator here. Um, and if you do it properly, you can actually n blow all of these guys up. Non-lethally, of course. Um, of course. Yeah, and then we can try to open this door, which open. we can't because Harley uh, changed access the voice code access. But we do have something that lets us uh, mimic people's voices. The Hard reason why we have this is not going to be explained very well because we skipped the part where we would actually have gotten this, but, uh, but it, it does exist. <laughs> um, there was some driver that we interrogated that was able to change his voice, so... But yeah, we're going to be able to manipulate that and to, to, to um, mimic Harley's voice. One thing is the big hands do, do cover up some stuff in this. It is a little annoying, but it's not really the worst. It, 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 you can you can kind of work around it. Um, Voice calibration complete. Okay, so now we're gonna open this, uh, unlock this door, but we're not gonna actually open it. What we're gonna want to do is we're gonna actually try to open this door from out of bounds. Um, the way we do that is we're gonna glide into this wall here that has. Oh well, I would glide into that wall there um, if I did it properly. There we go. Has no collision. Grapple over here. You um, jump. Oh, that's not good. Let's try it again. Then go over to the door, and then open it. And then we're gonna open it again. And then um, we're gonna wait until the thugs open this door. Um, otherwise, the elevator will be spawned in and will actually be soft locked. Uh, but yeah, now with the entire overworld is unloaded, and we can basically glide on down to the bottom of Panessa Studios. Um, so there's this guy here. We'll, uh, we'll do this, and here we, we should be helping Robin, but we're actually not going to. We're just going to trigger some dialogue, and then we will uh, exit immediately and glide on over to this door over here. All right, so now we're gonna cancel this door. Um, sometimes you're not able to cancel it, but yeah, we are able to. And then what we're gonna do is actually cancel this door again. Uh, the reason why we're canceling this door again, uh, if I can, uh, is because there's a predator that's coming up. And if we cancel the door, then the predator is not, the enemies in that predator aren't gonna be able to see us. Uh, which, is, which makes the predator a lot faster. We'll take him down faster if we work together. Know when you see it. Uh, we'll take out this mini gunner. 
And then we will uh, get some storage here. I was testing your self-control. Did I pass? You need practice. Come on. And so you can kind of see, like, in this Predator, nobody will be able to see us. It's very funny. And we do our Vulcan neck pinches to uh, take everybody out. I see what you're going When it comes to a lot of the tricks that you're doing, like a lot of the zips, a lot of the out of bounds stuff, is that something that's tricky to learn, or is that something that is easy the to pick skips, up? I think the skips in general are pretty easy uh, in this game, much easier than in like the other games. But um, there are some skips that are hard. We'll we'll get to some skips that are harder uh, than this than these. The, the, right now, like um like the like the the part where we glide to the door. Some I know some people have a little bit of trouble with it, especially on controller. Um, but yeah, overall, like the stuff I've done now are probably some of the easier skips in the Arkham series. Let's get her back in the Oops. Uh, So now what we're going to do is we... That was Christina Bell. That's the first Looks Joker. Like we're going to go over to the second Joker now by uh, glitching on out of here. Um, second Joker is where the subjective marker me. is. Um, what we're going to do is... Uh, kill him. Uh, Non-lethally kill him. He's going to fall into the void. Um, and then when we go into this door, um, you'll see he's like in the mi Albert King's kind of in the middle, a broken shell of a man who's not even moving. Um, so we'll fight these guys. And then um, that fight's over. So normally this fight takes like two or three minutes to do, but we're able to finish it in like in like 10 or 15 seconds. And yeah, all the skips can be done on console. Um, so now we'll head to the next Joker, which is Johnny Charisma. Uh, this is the last one. Um, again, we're gonna glitch our way there. Um, we're gonna glitch our way through the floor using the freeze grenade. This is why we got the freeze grenade, um, because uh, it lets us do this. Uh, very important. Um, and here we're gonna we're gonna use the RC batarang to open this door, open this gate, and we're gonna do our first Jason cutscene. There are supposed to be three Jason cutscenes in this game, but there are only two that we're gonna actually watch uh, because of the skips that we did. Um, that's one of the reasons why the skip saves time, among other reasons. Um, so uh, Jason is the previous Robin, Jason Todd. Uh, he was kidnapped by Joker and tortured. Um, and killed. So this is, uh, these are some flashback now, scenes Jason. of that. I think it's time to face that. Screw you. That's the spirit. You're a real chip off the old bat block. Not that it'll do you any good. Why won't you just kill me? What? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not going to kill you. Not yet, anyway. You're my sidekick now. Imagine it. You and me, out on the streets, starting fights, picking on the weak. A regular dynamic duo. Just like Bats and that new kid appears. No, he wouldn't. You think? So, this isn't Batman, then? Oh, weird. The pointy ears are usually a dead Non-lethal torture. This is non-lethal <laughs> torture, yeah. That photo. Really, I just I really enjoy how... Bat Every single uh, actor and actress it just does a fantastic job throughout all this. Yeah. Um, are these all the same that were from like Batman the Animated Series? I know we have Tara Strong, we have Mark Hamill. Um, I believe like a lot of them are. Uh, I'm not sure though. Okay, so here, this is the last uh, Joker, Johnny Charisma. Here, there's a there's a keypad um, that we need to enter a code in, and here I'm going to actually turn off Big Head Mode. This is the one part where Big Head Mode is actually really bad, because it blocks the keypad that I'm going to be using to enter the code, and I'm really bad at doing it blindfolded. 
Um, you can use the, the code to this door to is 0539. This is a reference to May of 1939, which is when the first Batman comic came out. You can isolate the um, data. You also have the option of entering the wrong code in five times, and then Batman will just break the keypad and then open the door. Uh, but that's slow. Unfortunately, Batman doesn't just do that in the first place. That would be kind of nice. I could keep big head mode on in that case. track for the last 10 minutes. So I see. Thanks, Henry. Gives everyone a chance to remember what the, you know. Uh, that happened yesterday where I entered a six instead of a five. I don't understand how that happened. Um, okay, anyway, so um, this is, uh, so here uh, Johnny Charisma has some bombs uh, in this area Charisma's that we're going to have to defuse as Robin. Uh, and then what's going to happen is Johnny Charisma is going to actually turn into Joker. And this is uh, actually like everybody's favorite part of the run with this, this song here. Um, fun fact, a fun piece of trivia, Mark Hamill was actually initially not going to do this game until he found out that he has this singing solo. Um, and then he agreed to do it. At least that's the trivia that I read. So we'll just we'll just uh, chill out and listen to the to the song while I defuse the bombs. But through it all, you never smile. Joke's on you. I'm in your head, so look who's laughing now. Remember in Arkham City. I killed your girl. So pretty. That was the night you let me die. And I'm just, you, th there's like a cycle, a specific cycle that we aim for that's very flexible, so um, you don't need to worry too much, like, just sitting there and waiting is perfectly fine, uh, and you'll still make the cycle very easily. And also the thing is that even though Robin sometimes is in Joker's peripheral vision, uh, you don't actually, he doesn't see you unless the spotlight hits you, so that's another thing. That's all the bombs disarmed. Time to take down Charisma. Oh, I didn't turn hit big men hood, head mode back on. When I do, and I appreciate chat that was uh, correcting yeah. me throughout all about the animated series with Tara Strong and Harley. Oh yeah, yeah, thanks. Yeah. And he's a professional. Anyways, I turned big head mode back on, so hopefully the chat doesn't riot. Robin, you know, wait here with the singing voice. Of okay, so there's a mini gunner here. We were supposed to have taken him out, but uh, we we skipped that part. So we're just gonna freeze him, and everything will be fine. Uh, we told Robin non -lethal. to stay. Yeah, non-lethally freeze him. Yes. Uh, <laughs> um. We're going to use the voice synthesizer to trick this guy into opening this door, but it doesn't work. Carly, uh, Carly, um, shuts all that down. Um, we told Robin to stay back, but Robin never listens to us, so, uh, he's going to try to confront Harley himself. Uh, fun fact, if you wait, like, two or three minutes, Harley actually will kill Robin and you, uh, get a game over. Um, the game really doesn't want Harley to kill Robin. They give you so many chances to have her not kill Robin. Uh, one other thing is if you try to exit the grate... Harley could kill Robin. I shouldn't break cover. Harley could kill Robin. Yeah, Batman says I shouldn't break cover. Harley could kill Robin. So I kind of like to just spam that the whole time. Harley could kill Robin. I shouldn't break cover. Also, I like when you were going through uh, before the cutscene tree, you saw the horns of Batman just kind of running through, and no oh, yeah. one was like, what, yeah, what, what's yeah, this the, in the ground there? Yeah, the, uh, the, um, the big head mode. Again, non-lethal damage there. Yeah, non-lethal. Everything is non-lethal. I've got Quinn. 
Okay, so we're gonna take Harley to the cell. Um, one thing that's very funny is when we exit, there are gonna be a bunch of thugs um, that are gonna try to fight us but aren't able to. Um, these thugs are from a previous fight that we skipped and they haven't despawned yet, so it's very funny. They're gonna persist for quite a while. Um, and now in this cutscene that we skip, what's gonna happen is um, we find out that Henry Adams was actually not symptomless. He actually is a Joker. Um, he ends up shooting the other Jokers, um, and then he's about to shoot Batman, but then Batman's eye turns green, and then he notices, oh, hey, Batman's gonna become a Joker. He's, like, the strongest Batman, and Henry's trying to kill the other Jokers to purify the gene pool, but because Batman would be a stronger Joker than him, Henry then shoots himself. So now Harley's gone from four Jokers back to zero, um, so she's sad. And then we lock her in the cell. And then Robin makes this observation, hey, you, you know, cell. you're gonna become a Joker, Batman. That's not good. Um, if you don't stop Scarecrow, like, that's bad. And if you become a Joker before stopping Scarecrow, I won't be able to stop you. You should lock yourself up into the cell. I think that's pretty reasonable. So that's what we're doing. We're gonna I'm lock sorry, ourselves Bruce, in the cell. It's the only way. I appreciate that Batman no, holds his Tim. mask without I'll actually holding it. Yeah, and then um, the other thing is that the the if you if you don't have big head mode on, the cow would actually be, the, or the the mask would be on the bench. But because of big head mode, it's like under it's like under the bench basically. Um, one thing that can also happen is Batman can get could get stuck on the thugs if they were positioned a little differently. It's not going to happen here, but um, it's very funny when that happens. You can see him run into thugs and then just disappear security lockdown initiated okay so here now i'm going to spin the camera a bit because um i'm trying to spawn in uh jason and the next jason cutscene and joker uh so motion sickness alert there we go don't worry about robin batsy you're gonna also see batman I'm pick sure up his cow die. from through the no, through this bench anyway <laughs> hey, hey. I never finished my story about Jason Todd, <laughs> did I? I don't think you did, Joker. Once again, magic. Yeah. Or, or miming. Miming. Um, and then uh, what's going to happen here is, like, with these thugs that are going to, like, run into this cutscene. So normally this cutscene is very intense. Uh, but these, th these thugs make it, like, really funny. Um, Have you got and then there's, like, this video in the background. Um, you'll you actually, you actually see the thugs in the video. It's, it's just funny. So hard. <laughs> Batman. Walking right in front of the camera. Yeah. Of course you do. <laughs> Did you get that, Bats? It's not yours. Yeah, sometimes the thugs don't walk walk in like this, but it, it's it's funny when it does happen. So I'm glad it happened in a in a marathon, so or in a GDQ because it's uh, it doesn't always happen. It's a bit random. I like the thug that just slowly walks up to Batman, then slowly walks back, and then slowly walks up again and slowly. Yeah, walks back. they they want to fight Batman, but they they can't until we we're done with the with the cutscene. By the way, yeah, so Jason is now completely 100% dead. There's no possibility that he's alive, just like Barbara. Um, yeah, and basically what we're going to find out is this is all um, just in Batman's mind. Uh, not the thugs, the thugs are real. But uh, the this whole cutscene is in Batman's mind, and Batman never actually got into the cell. So now what we're going to do is, um, instead of going into the cell, we're going to lock Robin in the cell. Because uh, we think this is better. We don't want Robin to kill himself fighting Scarecrow. Um, we'll we'll come back after we defeat Scarecrow. You know? Alfred? You son of a bitch! You cut my communications! Sir, are you okay? I thought... Okay, and no, now, like, um, gosh, yeah, so, we'll ha so now what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to get a Batmobile upgrade, um, and then we're supposed to, uh, basically we find Ivy's, Ivy's plant is getting attacked, we have to, we have to save it. Uh, then what happens is the Cloudburst actually gets released, um, after we, uh, after we, well, we do this tank fight, and then, um, then, uh, we need to go to Stag in order to find a way to stop the Cloudburst. Um, or to stop the fear toxin from, uh, like, or to disable the cloudburst. 
Um, what we're going to do is we're going to skip directly to Stag. Um, uh, so the way we're going to do that is we're going to glide over to here and do a zip. That actually brings up a good question. Bane or Mr. Freeze? Can we open this door? And then we will open this door again. Um, but we want to get another autosave, so I'm going to pause until the previous autosave goes away. Um, and then once we get that autosave, we can reload it. So this skip is called Cloudless. Um, the reason why is we... Um, skipped the actual cutscene where the fear toxin gets released so now from now on the game is going to act like there is fear toxin in the sky even though there actually isn't um and it and batman's also able to like fly around where the fear toxin would be uh, without like choking um it's kind of funny so like you'll you will see cutscenes where batman is like choking on fear toxin but that doesn't exist I've synthesized the Arkham Knight's voice. Oh, but anyways, I we're going to do this predator. Oops. After watching so much of this in big head mode so far, seeing the cutscenes where they're normal or be playing this game back to normal mode just doesn't seem... It seems weird. Yeah, right? <laughs> So Stag is in here. He gives us something called the Nimbus Cell, which uh, we will use to, uh, Alfred. which we will use in order to um, fix our Batmobile. Uh, but before we do that, we're going to reload because we need to get out of this airship. Um, but there isn't really a good way of getting out uh, that's fast. So what we're going to do is zip out. Um, but we need to get uh, the right coordinates so that we can uh, zipped relative to Stag's airship, so that's why we reloaded. Um, we're gonna go in here to load the overworld, and now we're gonna do probably the most complicated skip in the game that sometimes doesn't work if you get really unlucky. Um, so we have that to look forward to. I will do like some marathon stuff to like make it a bit more marathon safe. Uh, but the first, so basically what happens is there are going to be some tunnels that we need to go through. Um, whoops. And these tunnels, and what we're going to try to do is skip to the end of those tunnels. Um, the first, and overall the skip saves like a minute. Um, the first thing we do is we're going to glitch our way into the tunnels. Um, the reason why is basically, um, by glitching into the tunnels, it's going to be able to let us get out of the Batmobile, um, later on. So we're going to glitch into the tunnels, get this autosave, and then glitch out of the tunnels um, kind of immediately after. So, so we'll uh, go here, what and now we'll glitch on out. Tunnels, oh, uh, try to deload the tunnel like that, and then um, now we'll head on over to the Batmobile. Uh, because the bat we want to use our Batmobile, but we need to repair it first. Um, and before we actually get to the Batmobile, we are going to get storage, because we're going to do a zip uh, later uh, in order to zip to get to the end of the tunnel. So we're going to go here. Oops. And then we'll go up here. And this is like supposed to be a dramatic scene where Batman like jumps into this fear toxin, even though it's it's kind of funny because there is no fear toxin. And so Batman's going to be like choking on the fear toxin while replacing the power generator with the Nimbus cell. But, you know, he's choking on nothing because Batman's actually a complete wuss. Basically just tricked Batman into thinking there's fear toxin. This is it, Bats. <laughs> Can you feel the rush of that delicious toxin burning through your veins, creeping into that... Well, you can see, uh, I think in this you will see, like, the guys in the background turn into Joker. 
Are you getting stronger, Bruce? I'm more alive with every breath you take. Yeah. <laughs> some of them, yeah. Some of them turn yeah. into Joker. I like the way that their head moved. Mm. Yeah. They were running up to attack Batman. <laughs> Not look natural. You don't want to push this in too quickly, otherwise uh, it slows you down. Okay, so now once we get our Batmobile, what we're going to do is um, we need to basically Ivy has two plans to clear out the fear toxin, but that's actually apparently not enough. She needs a third, and we're going to try to find that third plant uh, using our sonar. Um, yeah, so in order to do that, we what we're going to do, we're on our way to the plant, what we're going to do is we're going to go to a very specific spot, uh, which is what that's going to do is it's going to load the interior of the tunnel. Um, and then uh, because the interior of the tunnel is loaded, we'll be able to actually exit our Batmobile, um, which is very important uh, because we need to exit our Batmobile to get to the end of the tunnel. So we're going to wait here for a bit. I, I'm just going to wait until I'm able to exit. Uh, so I'm able to exit now. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go scan Ivy's plan. Oh, sorry? I'll say when it was that nice extreme kind of close up just because of the big head mode, you saw a lot of actual really good detail on Batman, like through the eyes and through the teeth and stuff like that. That is honestly kind of impressive. Yeah, this game is very detailed. And by the way, I'm playing this on the lowest settings at 30 FPS. So uh, this is how good the game looks at, at, the, at those settings. Anyways, I did shoot a shield to get an extra auto save so that in case uh, things don't go well in this skip, I'll, we won't lose as much time. Um, um, but anyway, so um, yeah, so we scanned Ivy's plant. I shot the shield to get the auto save. Now we're going to head back into the tunnel. Ivy, your plant's buried. And then do a zip. Um, now we're gonna base we're basically doing a zip because this is just a faster way to get to the end of the tunnel um, And now the issue with this is that um, sometimes There are Cobras here. I mean, so there, there are always Cobras here. Sometimes they can be in bad positions that kind of that kind of ruin the skip So I'm basically hoping that doesn't happen here um it, usually, if it does, there I can try to back it up. But if it doesn't, if that ba that backup usually doesn't work for me, so if that doesn't work, that uh, I'll have to reload. Usually, that would be a dead run, but um, marathon. There's no such thing. So anyways, we want to go. This is we kind of go over here. Um, if I have enough, do I have enough height? I do have enough height. Yes. Sorry, so now, we'll, did, did... sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to call our Batmobile, and if the Batmobile comes from this direction, that's a good thing. Um, sometimes it doesn't go in this direction. And now what we want to do is we want to spawn the Batmobile inside of this tunnel. So what we're going to do is very carefully um, have the Batmobile uh, fall off here. Um, and if because it fell off pretty close to the tunnel, it's going to spawn inside the tunnel. So now we basically have glitched our way to the end of the tunnel. Um, we need to do a second scan, but the game's not actually going to let us do a second scan. Um, so what we're going to do is go here and then get an autosave and then reload. Um, so now when we reload, um, we're going to be able to do another scan, which is going to release the plant. Um, and... Uh, that's uh, and now we'll and then we'll be able to continue on with the with the run or the game. Unfortunately, the unfortunate thing about this skip is that um, if I die after this tank fight, um, up until like a certain point, I will actually soft lock the game and I actually like can't continue the run, uh, which is fine because I do have backup saves in case that happens. But uh, that that is a that is a very big downside to this skip. Um, a marathon but anyways this tank fight's fine uh to die in although because this is easy you don't really die in tank fights
Um, there's this, uh, there's this, uh... Okay, I, did, I, I didn't get it. Sometimes there's this uh, missile launcher that comes down, and um, what you what I optimally what you would do is uh, you would be able to uh, to to like if you're like under it while um, while it's spawning. Sometimes like sometimes you'll die, but sometimes you'll able to you'll be able to destroy it very quickly, which saves a, saves maybe like like five seconds. So. It's very inconsistent and very risky, but uh, it is a thing that you can do. strong enough to purify Gotham. No one is. So you did say earlier that there was what, a trick that if you didn't do it would, would end up um, killing the run. Oh yeah, I did it. So um, it didn't it well, kill curious. the run. It would just lose the it was time. It's basically the part where you skip to the end of the tunnel. Okay, because I was curious if it was actually like a non-lethal. Oh yes, uh, this is uh, the ba this. So that now there's this cobra fight. That's this is the bane of my existence. This is absolutely not non-lethal in my opinion. Um, this is the biggest place where you can lose time, uh, even on easy. Uh, like right now, I didn't get the right R the right RNG, so I'm probably gonna lose like uh, like ten seconds because of that. Um, but uh, yeah, so th th this fight is just w way too much RNG. Um, it's very frustrating, and when you're trying to go for a good time, and then you end up losing a run because that a tank, a cobra, just spots you like that for no reason. Um, also, and the other thing is, if you do die in this, you after do because we did that skip to the end of the tunnel, we will actually soft lock. Uh, like it's unrecoverable and it's actually unrecoverable in a very interesting way um it's basically um there's this place where we were supposed to get into the subway or at least there's this tank fight that we're we were supposed to have done but we actually skipped it and um the objectives basically get really messed up um the, the game in since the game is in memory uh like it like it like fix the stuff in memory, but if you actually try to reload this save file, uh, this save file um, is actually corrupted. Basically, um, it, it's, it's interesting. If I hopefully I don't die, but if I do die, that's uh, we could kind of see what happens. Um, this fight, by the way, is going like really not well, but I didn't get shot, so honestly, like for a marathon, I can't complain too much. I mean, so far, I know I've been really enjoying it. I'm sure Chad has as well. Actually, I know Chad has been really enjoying this run. Oh yeah, no, I mean the I mean the fight has was it, it, I got spotted like a few times. Usually, you don't want to get spotted at all. Um, that's 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 what I meant. So now there's this cloudburst. So this is piloted by the Arkham Knight, uh, and um, basically we have to wait a bit. We have to wait until Alfred finishes talking, then we scan it. Oops. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. Do this to me. Uh, all right, I need to, so now we, there are four weaknesses where these four coolant lines that we need to shoot. Um, so we're going to do that. And then what we're going to do is head over to the clock tower, which is right here, and kind of just circle it um, while the cloudburst overcharge is going on. So we'll, uh, and basically, so this, so long as like you don't do what I just did and um, get spotted by the cloudburst too early, uh, you'll. This is almost like an auto scroller. The only optimization is you can be like kind of risky if you want about um, about like shooting him. Uh, it it's a. Uh, but yeah, now once we shoot him, there are three. The first three that you shoot are gonna trigger this overcharge. The first overcharge, I believe, is 30 seconds. Uh, the second one, I think it's 45 seconds or maybe a minute. And the third one is a minute and a half. So um, this part is uh, very intense because like, I need to pay attention to my mini map because what I want to do is basically the Cloudburst is going to try to cut you off. Uh, when it cut and it, it's going to try to cut you off, and if and basically, um, you need to basically make sure that it's not about to cut you off because it, it can very quickly uh, spot you and then you'll lose uh, some time where you can get shot. Um, so that's 
the third one. So this is a very long one. Uh, we'll uh, do this. And it's very hard to like read chat during this because of how much you have to pay attention. Well, chat is saying that they're really enjoying it. <laughs> they're really just, you know, no stress is what they're saying, you know. Just well, this, it's, it's hard to not to be stressed in this fight, though. This is a, <laughs> this is a, bit, a bit of a tough fight, even on easy. Uh, on, on I guess on hard, like the, the tanks spot you a little bit fast or not even a little bit faster. They, I think they spot you. They spot you much faster. Um, it's a, a pretty big adjustment when people go from easy to or from normal to hard. Um, but yeah. But even on easy, um, this is uh, not the easiest fight. And then, um, then, uh, yeah, and then, then what, the, for the last one, um, oh, uh, I'm gonna try to, uh, okay, there we go. So then what you usually do is we try to get underneath this uh, clock tower afterwards. Um, I also saved up my missile barrage so that I can do a little bit more damage at the start. Um, so then what happens is um, if we lure him under here, all of his missiles are going to hit the ceiling. And then also um, after we destroy the cloud burst, um, it's going to spawn us in kind of the closest area to the next objective. And also after we destroy the cloud burst, um, the Arkham Knight's going to exit. And then Batman has this really weird habit of saving super villains that are about to die. Uh, <laughs> It's a uh, very, I, I don't necessarily agree with that decision, but uh, that is a thing he does. So um, we rescue the Arkham Knight and punch him in the face a few times. And we find out here that the Arkham Knight is Joker. <laughs> no, this is, this is just a hallucination. The Arkham Knight is long gone. Um, but anyway, so um, basically the cloud the, the cloud burst is destroyed, but the gas is still out. We need to get Ivy to uh, fix to basically get rid of all the fear toxin. And then um, so we'll head on over to Ivy to see how she is. She's not responding to our uh, our radio messages. Hopefully she's okay. Do a little boost off of this hospital here. He's paying the price for opposing me right now. And yeah, so um, what's gonna happen is Ivy's actually gonna sacrifice herself to get rid of all the toxins. So Ivy actually dies. Um, that's uh, so F's for Ivy. Um, and then we hear about this uh, radio broadcast that is in GCPD. So we're gonna go check that out. Uh, spoiler alert, it's uh, Commissioner Gordon. Um, and basically what we're going to do after is uh, basically look, try to track that radio broadcast, try to find where Commissioner Gordon is. Uh, Commissioner Gordon is in the Arkham Knights hideout or headquarters. Uh, the Arkham Knights headquarters consists of two parts. Uh, there's a first part and a second part. And what we're going to do is actually glitch our way into the end of the first part. Um, because normally what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to basically do a bunch of puzzles to get to the end of the first part of the Arkham Knight HQ's, uh... Uh, but th those take a long time, so we're, we're gonna try to cut five minutes off of, off of the glitchless run by, uh... Doing that. Uh, but first we have to trigger that objective, which, uh happens by talking to this cop Nothing here going down yet batman thanks to you tell me about this bro the alarm goes off because of everything that batman has no one just bats an eye yeah <laughs> i've decoded a radio transmit okay so um this is in my opinion this is the hardest skip in the game uh because um Everything that goes wrong is your fault, but it's very hard to know why things went wrong. Um, it, there, there are a lot of very subtle things that can happen uh, that are your, technically your fault, but it's not clear like what you did wrong. It's, it's very annoying. Um, so this skip is also like a big run killer. 
Uh, but basically, so what, the way the skip works is first we exit our Batmobile, um, just to avoid some tanks. Uh, uh, we're gonna go to this lamppost uh, over here. Um, occasionally that flying drone actually destroys this lamppost that we need, so, but here it didn't. So then what we do is we do a glitch out of bounds. Then we, uh, the visual cue is, to, is the, there's just like this uh, pipe here, you go to the left of it. Um, then you, we're gonna go up here. Uh, grapple up here. Then this is basically an elevator shaft. So now we're going to um, grapple up here to load in the elevator shaft. And you want to very walk off at like a certain angle very slowly. Um, I didn't do that right. So the elevator unloaded, but you want to make it so that the elevator doesn't unload. Um, yeah, so I don't, yeah, this hasn't been working recently. I don't understand why, but. There we go. And then what you do is you fall here, dive bomb at a certain time. Then, um, then over here, this area is going to then unload. So now you dive for about three and a half seconds or so. Um, and then there's this tunnel that spawns in on our left. Um, we want to glide through this tunnel before the wall loads in. So there's like a wall over there that you, if there's there's like some horrible backups you have to do if um, if the wall loads in. Um, well, it's not that horrible, but there uh, there's some really annoying backups that you, you would have to do if the wall loaded in too early. Um, so now we can continue on, but we need our Batmobile. So our Batmobile doesn't exist because we glitched in here. But if we uh, reload from checkpoint, our Batmobile is going to be here. So we can now continue. And they say Batman doesn't have superpowers. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> you can glitch out of bounds, you can zip, it's like crazy. You can get the Batmobile to spawn in just from reloading. We've also okay. seen how uh, Batman's magician. Yeah. Okay, so this is the excavator. Fun fact, if you skip this cutscene at 90 FPS, you will die. Um, that's just a fun thing that people found out while doing glitchless runs. Uh, then uh, what, what this is, is basically the Arkham Knight has survived. He's commandeered this gigantic drill and he's trying to kill us because he has no gratitude over the fact that we saved him from the fear toxin. So, yeah. Um, and we find, as we drive through this one tunnel, we find that we're able to like blow up. Um, there are like some explosives on the walls that will uh, damage the drill. So what we're going to do is this fight is actually very predictable, like the Arkham Knight's spawn location is very predictable. Uh, and so we can, so I, I, I like I knew that he was going to drive, he was going to be there at that point and I can, then what you're supposed to do is shoot him and lure him through all these tunnels. I really don't like using third person because the camera sucks uh, in these tunnels, so I use first person. Um, I know a lot of people swear by third person, but it's just it's just way too annoying, uh, in my opinion. Because the camera is like really far back, and it like doesn't really follow you when you're on the side of walls either. So um, I, I use first person. Yeah, non-lethal wall explosives. Stop this light. To be fair, the Arkhamite does not die in this fight, so. But do the walls. <laughs> the walls, yeah, the walls might not be in as great a shape. Therefore, non-lethal wall explosives. Yeah. Okay, so I now know that the here the Archimite's gonna spawn right here, or is gonna show up here. So we shoot him and lure him into this tunnel. This tunnel is very annoying. This tunnel is the one I die in the most. Like, I don't usually die in this fight, but um, the last time I died in it was in this tunnel. Because there are just some rocks that can, like, stop you for no reason. Um, didn't happen this time, but uh, it's... Uh... I 
I do really enjoy the fact that, you know, there's so much damage and destruction throughout all of this area, and yet, for some odd reason, the things that aren't touched at all are, like, police signs and the, um, turn, the, the like, I forget what they're called all of a sudden. Yeah, like the, yeah, you can destroy them, like, I, I can, you can drive through them or shoot them. So this is what it's like in a uh, third person. It's uh, I really hate I hate this camera. And yeah, like when you're on the side of walls, it's like it's really hard for me to visualize like where I'm supposed to turn. So that's why I use first person uh, in this. Anyway, so this is the excavator boss fight. So that's done. Um, because the excavator is damaged so much, Alfred's able to open this door. Um, and we're gonna hold this thing down. Oh, I guess this is the other time we use the power winch. Um, but then the excavator is gonna confront us again, and actually he's gonna destroy our Batmobile, uh, which is very sad if you don't if you like the Batmobile. Although I do know people who really hate the Batmobile, and this is like their favorite part of the game, where the Batmobile gets destroyed. But anyways, non lethally for, destroyed. Yeah, non lethally destroyed the Batmobile. Um, anyways, now we're gonna head to Gordon. Gordon's being guarded by all of these ninjas. Um, we'll, we'll deal with them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I appreciate they're just in the middle of a conversation. Yeah, Gordon's like egging us on, or helping us, or cheering us on. Okay, so in the cutscene that we skipped, uh, we get the biggest plot twist of the game, which is that the Archimite is Jason Todd. Uh, so I kind of lied when I said that he was completely dead. Um, so now we have to fight him in a series of four predators. This was the first one, very easy. Um, the second one is a little less easy, but um, we, there's a very swag glide we can do in order to get to him, which is this. Um, and then there's some, after we get to him, there's some thugs that we need to, um, take out. So, um, we'll go ahead and do that. Where's the guy? Oh, there he is. Yeah, so here we're gonna do the, this the way that the guy would do it in the Batman, in the new Batman movie, just guys are shooting at us, doesn't matter. Uh, just punch them. So you can do that on easy, that's kind of how you do predators on easy, it's uh... So here, um, this is a, there, what you can do here is you can, there was smoke here, and then do a ear takedown. be very risky and just run this way um and here you only need to take out four of the six guys if you do that and then go to to, to jason um you actually will advance the next wave um it's very uh it's very very odd but helps save some time um and then this last one um we're just going to do a glide um to get to jason skip the entire uh Skip this entire puzzle, basically. You're Robin, Jason. You're not what he made you. Stop! Stop talking to me! I don't know why, but when Jason Todd has that big head now, it made him look like Ant-Man. Yeah. Maybe that's the Marvel DC crossover we've been waiting for this whole time. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So um, basically, Gordon, um, 
We rescue Gordon, fight these guys. Um, so when we get to the top of this elevator, we're actually, what we're gonna find out is that Barbara is also not actually dead. So I, I lied about that too. Um, what Gordon's actually doing is he's trying to trade us in for Barbara because Gordon's betraying us because he, he sucks. Um, but then um, stuff happens. Gordon ends up shooting us because he sucks. Even Obviously, we're not going to die. Stop. He knows that. You um, we fall off the roof. Um, Scarecrow is like, I didn't want him to die. So then he gets mad and then throws Barbara off the roof. Um, and then kidnaps Gordon. Uh, Batman's obviously not dead, so he rescues Barbara. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's all going to happen in this cutscene that we skip. Uh, and we're going to be in a bit of a pickle with Barbara, but... Um, yeah, Sorry. they're gonna be a bunch of tanks you know, shooting at us. We're the same, Bruce. We do anything. I don't know how we're gonna get family. out of that. Come on. I don't know why, but when I saw uh, Jim Gordon just on the side there, it made me, made me visualize the screen. main character from now. Up. Oh yeah, yeah, that yeah the, that guy. So no, they, I, I totally. I'm, I'm gonna see that forever. Um, every time I run this game in big head mode. Okay, yeah. So we're in a bit of trouble right now. Um, but maybe, but because we have all these tanks, but no Batmobile, because our Batmobile got destroyed, right? Oh, Lucius made a spare. Okay. By the way, yeah. Someone mentioned 30 FPS. So the reason why I'm on 30 FPS. For two reasons. One, my computer can't handle any more than that. Um, but the other thing is that for any percent, it's actually it's actually optimal because um, you're not able to do the glitches in 60 FPS. They said uh, that Batman's taking out a drone. He's taking out a drone non-lethally. Yeah. None of these drones are, are dying. They're they're just uh, going to sleep. For a long time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so, so you know how Barbara has been kidnapped and got thrown off a roof, so... Um, you know, we could give her the night off, but instead what we're going to do is put her in front of a computer and have her help us. Um, because Batman doesn't give days off. Oh, he's a, he's a... I'll get you set up at the precinct. We'll find your father. I guess Barbara might be, uh, want, might want to help, but I, I don't know. I don't know. I think maybe she deserves a little bit of a vacation, you know? Yeah. Get some PTO. Yeah, right. But, um... Anyways, we're going to take Barbara to GCPD and um, it's good to put her in front of a computer to help us. Cash, I found Barbara. I'm bringing her to the lockup. She's alive. Thank What about Gordon? He was captured by Scarecrow. You've got to be kidding. We'll get him back, Cash. Okay, so when we get here, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually first reload from checkpoints. Uh, because there is a uh, zip we're gonna do a little bit later. I left him at the movie studios. He's fine. Barbara! Alright, so we'll reload some checkpoint here. And basically what's happening is um, Barbara can't actually connect to her clock tower servers uh, because the militia are doing some shenanigans with it. So um, we're gonna head on over there and uh, st put a stop to all of that. These years later, and I've still got a soft spot for little Barbara Gordon. Fortunately, mine's not right between the vertebrae. Go back here, Batman. Go give him hell, Batman. It's just so hard sometimes because you really just want to hear some of the incredible acting, especially from Mark Hamill in this game. Yeah, Mark Hamill has such so much. Joker has so much good dialogue, especially in a, if if you watch a hundred percent run, uh, we end up doing all of the side missions before the main story. So Mark Hamill has a lot of like voice acting that you wouldn't normally hear when you play casually, because normally you don't do that. Normally people do Riddler last because um, of all the Riddler trophies, but you can hear a lot of uh, 
really good voice, really good dialogue. Yeah, so I have an issue with uh, loading in this game, so that guy usually loads in very slowly, uh, which is unfortunate. Uh oh. Now we'll go get some storage. Uh, because we're going to do a zip uh, in a bit, so... Alright, so we'll restore the clock tower computers. And now head back to GCPD. So, um, so, uh, let's get in the car. Yeah. All right, so, um, when we get back to GCPD, we're gonna talk with, with, uh, Oracle. Um, basically, though, then, uh, we're gonna, GCPD is gonna get, uh, bombarded with, like, a ton of tanks. Uh, this is the GCPD assault. Um, GCPD isn't really going to be able to handle this, so we're going to have to handle it, uh, single-handedly. Well, not single-handedly, with the help of Barbara. Uh, she'll do, she'll do a little bit of computer stuff to help us. Alright, so... One funny thing is you can, uh, you can... interact with Barbara from the other side of the wall here. Great. Um... Yeah, but anyways, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll go out and deal with the uh, GCPD assault. Uh, the first thing is that in the garage, there's going to be this fight that we could do. But we're going to actually just skip the fight. Um, we're going to do a zip. So, uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to... These guys are basically... From these guys' point of view, they're going to literally see Batman evaporate into thin air, right? Or... Um, yeah, then glide over here, and then grapple up here into this vent. <laughs> and non-lethal zipping. Alright, so here, um, we're gonna see all of the tanks. There are a lot of them, so, uh, one annoying thing about that zip is that there isn't gonna be a tank counter, um, which is usually very helpful. Um, anyway, so basically we're not able to open the door to the GCPD because um, these guys cut the power, destroyed the power generator, so we're going to restore the backup generator. Well, so that's one way to kind of get out of a battle is to clip your way through a wall. Yeah. And while this fight is going on, I just want to make a little announcement saying that if you enjoyed Frost Tiles that happened a couple weeks ago, great, great marathon. On March 26th, we're going to be having the Frame for Tiles Game of the Month celebration here on the GDQ Hotfix. You can go to gamesdonequick.com slash frame for tiles for more information about Frame for Tiles. Okay, I'm gonna get an up get an upgrade here just to make it a little the reloading a little bit faster. And yeah, now we're gonna fight all these tanks. There are sixty of them, which is an awful lot, but we're on easy, so this isn't too bad. while this fight's going on. If you're watching us on YouTube, you can always head on over to our Twitch at twitch.tv slash gamesdonequick. 
Uh, if you want to, those, that's where we're doing all of our live content. It starts weeknights mostly at around 7 p.m. Eastern and weekends at 1 p.m. Eastern. And of course, your subs, gift subs, Prime Gaming subs, and bits help support weekly hostage content. Please consider supporting our daily content if you enjoy these hot six shows. the tank fight and then the last thing we're gonna do is um you played your part all drones destroyed is uh this uh this rooftop fight um it's basically uh basically the last thing they're gonna try to do is get through this elevator that's on the roof so we're gonna have to stop them Yeah, Oracle was hacking some tanks, and I shot a few of them while she was hacking them. So that's why she made that snarky comment. The enemy is just non lethally frozen, right? Yeah, um... Yeah, and these guys are non-lethally getting getting multi-grounded. <laughs> uh -oh. This guy is non-lethally getting uh, thrown onto that. <laughs> Oops. It's just some, you know... Just there for a nap. Yeah. Yeah, so now we're gonna head over to the Panessa Studios and we're actually gonna get a call when we get there from Barbara saying that Gordon has uh, used his voice access to get into Panessa Studios. Which is kind of weird because, you know, we're here and he's not here. But uh, anyways, this is not good as well because that means Scarecrow is here and we last time we locked Robin in, in a cell, you know? Uh, Robin might be in a little bit of danger. Hopefully not. <laughs> Hopefully not, yeah. Yeah, I just mentioned uh, Robin and uh, Barbara are engaged to be married, so... Um, Barbara is not going to be happy with the fact that we just locked him in a cell. <laughs> <laughs> um, but basically, we get a call from Scarecrow saying, basically, if you want to save Gordon and uh, Robin, you got to turn yourself in to me. So we're going to probably go ahead and do that. Ah, well. Oops. Actually, I'm gonna try this. There's a there's a zip you can do. Um, I'll see if I can do it. Um, kind of kind of fun to do. I don't usually do this because it doesn't exactly save time. Um, normally it can though. I think. Oh, whoops. Oh, let's see what happens. That was the wrong uh, input. Where, where's oh. 
Yeah, that didn't save time. Or I mean, that that would normally you can you can do the zip a little bit fast. You can get much further with the zip, but I didn't really get further. Uh, It'll look cool. <laughs> yeah, it looks cool. Yeah. Oh man, this is a rough glide. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, yeah, so we're going to head on over to turn ourselves into Scarecrow, which is, uh, which is right here. Are you crazy? You give up and we um, Scarecrow is going to tell us to take off our utility belt, which, I don't know, to me that seems a bit ill-advised. Um, but maybe that's just me. I do enjoy that I've, uh, you, so many of these places have giant I walls of CRT televisions. Yeah, right? Uh, it's uh, very convenient. To be fair, Scarecrow probably did plan this. I'm just thinking about all the stuff behind the scenes. Like, how many engineers did they have to wrangle to get that set up? And then did the like, engineers know that they were doing it? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna assume that the that the militia set this up, the, the grunts. <laughs> but yeah, there there is there is a lot of uh, stuff like that. Like like there's so many of these autonomous tanks that are unmanned, and that's that can't be cheap, right? <laughs> like yeah. each one of those has to like like there were there were 60 tanks at the GCPD assault. Each one of those tanks must have cost like a million dollars. So that's just. That's just sixty million dollars, right? Of tanks that got blown up. That's like Bruce Wayne money. He, yeah, he, maybe he funded this. Maybe. Um, anyways, uh, yeah. So here, um, we're here. So, here that somebody's actually tracking our movements. We're not going to find out who until after the run is over. Um, but I think we'll. I think we'll have enough time to find out who. Uh, we're getting gas. You can see there's like some refraction over there, so we're gonna be hallucinating and turning into Joker again. Um, I can see it, and soon the whole world will see it too. Your eyes. Yeah. So uh, now, no Arkham game is complete without some kind of uh, Crime Alley flashback. Uh, Crime Alley is where uh, Batman's parents were killed. So, you know. Killed or non-lethally just taking a nap for a very long time? Uh I guess we can we can we can have a we can have a little debate. We can see what they look like here. Um Yeah, I think maybe you're right. Alright, so yes, yeah, so we pay our respects. Then um then what's gonna happen is Joker's gonna swarm our mind, um, and we're gonna have to fight him off. Poor little Bruce he um, never quite got over it now, did he? Well, there's no point. Uh, this fight is actually uneasy. This fight is kind of fun. You you can literally just punch without holding a direction and it like works for the most part. Uh And then you do your combo takedown. Oh, is this their shout out to the Matrix where, you know, when Neo was fighting the agents here, it's it's uh, Batman fighting with Jokers? I never thought about that, but that's 100% true. <laughs> We managed to fight off uh, the Joker from taking over our mind now, um, but now what's going to happen is what ha what's happening is Batman's being taken to Arkham Asylum, which is where Scarecrow is. Um, we're going to be tied to a gurney, and Scarecrow's going to actually unmask us, and everyone's going to find out that uh, Batman is actually Bruce Wayne, which I don't think I what? ever mentioned. Yeah, it's shocking, right? What? <laughs> the biggest twist. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, so he's, and he's going to do this on live television. So actually, a after this, um, everybody in the world's actually going to know that Batman is Bruce Wayne. So then what he's going to do is he's going to inject Batman with a bunch of fear toxin because the point that he's trying to make is that Batman is just a normal dude who gets afraid just like everybody else. Um, so he's going to inject him with a lot of fear toxin. And as we know, every time Batman gets injected with fear toxin, he starts turning into Joker. So now basically we're undergoing our Joker transformation. I was just going to comment a minute ago that it looked like because of the big head, it looked like Batman was going to just kiss the Joker. But the revelation that Batman is Bruce Wayne. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> So this is the. So yeah, so now we're gonna play a Call of Duty Joker edition with this shotgun. Um. So here we're gonna go through this corridor. There are a bunch of super villains in here. You, it's slower to shoot Penguin, um, but I'll just shoot him anyway. You know, um, here there's going to be Riddler with a hostage. Uh, you can shoot either Riddler or the hostage, but you have to shoot one. It's just usually easier to shoot both, although I usually try not to shoot the hostage. Um, here, uh, yeah, you have to shoot Two-Face. Oh, I missed it. I missed yesterday. That was... You usually don't miss, but it does happen. <laughs> yeah, so basically, so what's happening is, um, when Batman gets injected with Toxin, he becomes the Joker. Um, so now he's finally fully undergone this trans this Joker transformation, which we can kind of see um, by the fact that um, like when we when we get to this next part of the cutscene, uh, we'll see that uh, that basically now we see it's like Joker tied to this no gurney, no, uh, big head and all. Um, Again, these cutscenes get a lot more intimate in Big Head mode, um, especially this one with Scarecrow and uh, the Joker. Free to see the city you swore to defend tear itself apart. Free to see everyone you love. It's like the it's like they're not even big heads. They're just been the director just went really really tight shots on the audio thing. Yeah, and then their heads are going into each other. <laughs> so funny. Do you not understand? It is over. Get ready for the arc. Okay, so now what's happening is Batman has succumbed to his greatest fear, uh, which is turning into the Joker. But Scarecrow is misinterpreting this as Batman not actually being afraid because, you know, Joker laughs at everything. So now what he's doing is he's injecting Batman, who is now Joker, with more fear toxin, uh, which might have some uh, interesting side effects. Um, so we'll see what, what happens. In Joker's ah, mind, good time. So we see ourselves Wait, so being we... cremated, and oh, sorry. So we just zoomed Earthy. in so far that we got to see the Joker. The inside of the Joker's head is nothing but hot air. That yeah. is kind of fitting for the Joker. Oh, wait a minute. This, <laughs> yeah, it's uh. This isn't my grave. No, 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 no. It's too small. Yeah, so here, um, this is weird. We're seeing graves that are too small. We see a Batman statue pop out. Uh, we're gonna see a wake up here that Harley forgot to invite everybody to, um, so it's empty. Um, this is getting kind of weird. Like, this might be a little scary. We're just not a fan of those chairs, are we? Yeah, we, we need to shoot them because the wall is going to disappear and we need to go through that. Um, yeah, so here, Joker dies, Gotham doesn't care. It's kind of weird. Oh my god. Glenn Woodward doesn't know who we are. Harley and Riddler expecting first child. Yeah. So, um, okay, there's going to be a motion sickness alert. I, basically, what's what's going to happen is there are these Batman statues, and I want to spawn them in. Uh, and the way I spawn them is in is by spinning the is by spinning the camera like a maniac, like so. 
So um, unfortunately, this is the fastest way of doing this, and it's a very big motion sickness alert. So if you get motion sick, you should really turn away. Come out. Um, I think what it is is you need to spawn in like maybe like 50 or 60 Batman I'll statues before you get this Batman jump scare where he pops out of the statue. Um, Yeah, doing this wrong, you can lose like 45 seconds if you don't if you don't know how to do this part. Uh, if you don't like spin the camera around like this, so it's a uh, uh, very useful to do even if it's really hard to look at. Uh, so basically, what's happening is um, because Batman has turned into Joker and has been injected with fear toxin, now jo now Batman as Joker is succumbing to Joker's greatest fear. And Joker's greatest fear is being forgotten. So this is basically what's happening. Um, Joker is finding out that uh, he's basically going to be forgotten. So what's going to happen is Batman's going to take Joker, lock him up in a corner of his mind, and Joker will then be forgotten forever. Um, and then after this happens, Batman will basically be immune to uh, the fear toxin. Um, so. That's basically what's going to happen here. Uh, the run will be over fairly soon. It'll, I'll, I'll count down. I'll, I'll say uh, I'll say done when the run is over. Basically, it's uh, Batman's going to start beating down Joker, and it's the last punch. Um, when it's the last punch, uh, that's when the run. Uh, that's when the timing stops. I am the knight. I am Batman. So um. The combo meter will get to 21, um, and then it'll stop, so, so 3, 2, 1, stop. Um, and yeah, that's the end of the run, but um, it's not quite the end of the main story. We can kind of uh, keep going, because I think we have time. Goodbye, Joker. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so here, um, yeah, so very, quite literally, Batman is locking up Joker in a quarter, into a corner of his mind, so, um... Yeah, here we're supposed to be seeing Batman's eyes change from green to normal, but because it's big head mode, it's like we we see we see this. Um, but uh, um, yeah, and again, this cutscene is very intimate in big head mode. Do you understand, Gotham? You have no savior. No more hope. No more Batman. I've won. Yeah, so we see Batman is no longer not affected by the fear toxin, which is interesting. Possible. And then we finally also, oh yeah, so the gun, because of the big heads, the gun is like inside of his head. I just find it really funny. Yeah, and the person who was tracking us is uh, Jason Todd, uh, who is now Red Hood. He's no longer the Arkham Knight. Um, so uh, he, he basically sets us free, and then we inject Scarecrow with his own fear toxin. That's intimate right here. Yeah. <laughs> wrong scared just a little no. bit <laughs> why does bruce Wayne kind of look like tom cruise here uh the really rich crazy guy i guess <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, like, Tom Cruise could be Batman. There's been, like, all the crazy stuff Batman does, like jumping off buildings, <laughs> gliding. I'm pretty sure if Tom Cruise could, he would love to be Batman, um, given all the crazy stunts he does. That is true, yeah. He's strong. He's going to be okay. 
Look after him, Jim. Oh yeah, um, Robin did get Look shot, but it man. is a non-lethal gunshot. You've been so, a good friend. Um, the best. He's a strong kid. For. It'll be okay. You were there at the beginning, and now you get so to there's see. There's a what, non-lethal fear injection that someone yeah. in chat said. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, a. <laughs> uh, So unfortunately, this is only the end of the main story. There is a, there is like an actual ending to this game that only triggers after we do the side missions. Um, unfortunately, we will not see that where the Batman, where we see how the Batman dies. Um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, we lock away our first supervillain, which is Scarecrow, and. Um, I'll stick to Batman. Yeah. Coming for me. No. You sound scared, Crane. Get used to it. I love the lip movement of all of this. Yeah. Sir, it's it's over. The whole world knows. What now? Gotham still needs Batman for one last night. And then? Prepare the nightfall protocol. Are you sure? There's no other way, Alfred. It needs voice confirmation. Martha. Very good, Master Bruce. You can be sure you're going to be Why did you say that name? Um, yeah. yeah, so that's uh, that's uh, that's the end of the of the main story. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, thanks for all the GGs in chat, and thanks for having me on. Yeah. Um, any type of shout outs you'd like to have to any, maybe the community or... Yeah, um, yeah friends no yeah just there's there's an entire uh community of people that uh run all of all of, all of the arkham games arkham city arkham asylum arkham origins as well um yeah i want to give a big shout out to that I, uh there's a there's a discord server um on speedrun.com you can find a link to it i if you're interested in speed running these games i highly recommend you join uh we're pretty we're pretty people there are pretty helpful uh, if you need help with runs or need help getting started um definitely check out the discord uh, i made i made we have a bunch of tutorials um yeah so if you're if you're interested definitely check out the discord uh, so yeah i just wanted yeah just give a shout out to the discord yeah uh i also forgot to let you know it looks like the time was two twenty seven thirty. yeah yeah i have my i have splits as well it's two twenty seven thirty. Okay. yeah so gee awesome. that's a great time um, yeah. if anyone was interested in following you, um, where would they head off to? Yeah, just, uh, twitch.tv slash, uh, one eye deacon. Um, yeah, if you, if you, if you liked what you saw, I, I'm going to be, I'm going to be running this game. I'm going to be trying to go for maybe world record or at least a better PB. But, um, yeah, uh, if you want to see more of this, yeah, definitely check me out. Now, was it, I, was it any percent or this um, run that you Omar tied at world record on? Last I checked. Oh, um, so there, there's there's four difficulties. Uh, there's easy, normal, hard, and new game plus. Uh, so I I have I tied the world record in hard, and I got I got the world record in normal and new game new game plus. I got a while ago and normal I got, but then easy I don't have. Um, so that's a. Uh, I think that's what that's probably what you saw yeah and you're that's what you're going to be pushing for right yeah easy the, world um, the, the easy world record is much more difficult than those other difficulties because it's the most popular but um yeah yeah uh anything else you'd like to add um no i think i think that's that's it yeah just th thanks 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 again for uh, having me on oh of course uh just a couple quick announcements uh if you Enjoyed Frost Fatales. That was a couple of weeks ago. Uh, great marathon. On March 26th, we're going to be having the Frame of Fatales Game of the Month celebration on the GDQ Hotfix. Go to gamesonquick.com slash Frame Fatales for more information about Frame Fatales. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can go to twitch.tv slash gamesonquick if you're interested in looking at our live content. Our live content starts most weeknights at 7 p.m. Eastern and the weekends at 1 p.m. Eastern. And, of course, your subs, gift subs, prime gaming subs, and bits help support the weekly Hotfix content. Please consider supporting our daily content if you enjoy these Hotfix shows. And, of course, if you have any ideas for maybe one of your own shows or a one-off event, 
feel free to go to gamesdonequick.com slash hotfix to submit your ideas. While you're there, you can also look at some of the amazing, amazing uh, other shows we have. Like tomorrow, we're, we're going to have The First Step starting at 7 p.m. Eastern, followed by How to Train a Speedrunner. And, of course, I cannot write, forget to mention what's coming up next at the top of the hour, and that is going to be Speedruns from the Crypt. So while the bargain bin may be closing its doors for a little bit, don't worry. This is a great time to get up, stretch, get some food, get some water, use the restroom, and get ready for the top of the hour. We're going to have Speedruns from the Crypt featuring Resident Evil 2 Remake Kodelka, which is a fantastic PlayStation RPG horror, if you've not seen it. It's great. And they're also going to have Silent Hill 3. So there's a lot of great, fantastic runs coming up for the remainder of the night. We're going to get things in a break mode, get everything set up for speed runs from the crypt. Once again, great time to get up, hydrate, get some water, and we'll be right back here in a little bit with speed runs from the crypt. <laughs> 